to, you know, to provide a limo service, sure, okay? Right. I pay him. <laughs> so, I got this limo. <laughs> oh, I can't talk about this? No, 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 not yet. Oh, there's other things not to the talk about. The fact that... <laughs> what? I, uh, do you know what I'm gonna talk about? No, I think I do, but... Uh-oh. You're talking about the new car, right? No, I was gonna talk about the old car and how it's no longer with me. Oh, what, what? That wasn't... Let me, let me, let me talk go about ahead, what I want. Go Stop ahead, me if go I'm ahead, saying something ahead, you don't want me to say. Go ahead. All right. It's like a tennis match. I got a limo server. He provides a limo server. That's yeah. his business. And At I least... do a good job, don't I? Well, up until about a week ago, you did. No, up until only three days ago. Yeah, so... He comes to me, he goes, he goes, hey, Howard. I'm, I'm getting a new limo. Uh, but the old limo, I sold it. So... If there's a lag time... I get, I, I'm driving you around in my truck. <laughs> no, so it's go, not wait, my wait, truck. It's some truck. Okay, wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Let me tell my story. Oh, Listen to this guy. So I go, okay, for a day, I certainly don't mind. But I'm paying for a limo. Right. Okay. So now we're on day three. I'm still in this truck. Everybody thinks that's the new ride. Yeah, and I'm like, well, where's where's this limo? The, the new limo. Well, it's not ready yet. There's a series of problems, blah, 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 blah. I go, yeah, but I'm paying for a limo. And like yesterday, I go out, I, I, have to, I, I was in my car all day. I go out to Long Island with my kid and everything else. And I get a lot of business done there. Now I can't do any business because I'm making confidential phone calls, but I can't do it because I'm in the well, truck. you're almost next to Ronnie. I'm on top of Ronnie. I saw that in one of the, the news clips. Yeah. I'm like, oh, look at where Howard is. Yeah. He's right almost in Ronnie's lap. So now I'm fine. Man, man. He's still, <laughs> so dude. All of a sudden, it's now my problem. No, I didn't say. Why just sell problem. the old car? Sell the car after ready. you're done. You're not. Why do I have to suffer? Because you sell your car early. What really? You're providing a service. Why did you sell your car early? I why do I have to? Why do I have to be involved in this? Why am I sitting in the back of a truck when plus, I had a limo? Plus, your knees were like way up, almost under your chin. Hey, listen, no, I don't mind that. But what I do is I get a lot of work done in that yeah, car. Yeah. I'm saying, well, oh, no, that's so, so, so what's your, in other words, it was good for you to get rid of the car no, quickly. No. no. He goes, oh, I had to sell the car, it's the right time, and blah, I go, no, who no, cares I to go rent a new limo and drive me around in it? Is that the new chair? No. Why am I in that, I can't get any business done, I need to put up that privacy wall, I don't I, have one. I know, I know, I know. Uh, go out and find me a car. It's gonna happen, I told no, you. No, today. Everybody was telling me that that was it. That, no. That's the new car. He like, gets a truck. And, and I don't mind. I didn't get a I'm truck. I'm not a not truck. I don't mind being in a truck. I need to put up a privacy But you know what? He wants the middle that of the truck. He's trying to get you used to that truck. Listen so tell the truth. We already got one. We got one. That's what's being done. All right. Dude. Not, dude. Dude. Oh, okay. Dude. Don't sell your old car till you have the new car. And I know, oh, you're supposed to have the new car. You don't have it. When you have the new car, then put your car up for sale. Would you mind the rickshaw for a few days? Yeah, I got one of those bikes with a seat on the back. And if you can't provide a can limo I, can service, I ask you a question? go rent a limo and drive me around in it. Can I ask you a question? No. There's no what could be what question could you ask? I came to you and I said to you, would you mind for a couple of days? Could you, you all you had to do was say I said no. you said a day. No, I said a couple of days. But if he said no, what was the game plan? Then I wouldn't have got rid of the car. Why do you even bother him with that? He, he makes me uncomfortable. Not yeah, of makes, course how do I get to say yeah. I make you uncomfortable? Because I don't like telling people no. I, I you thought, don't know that about me? I thought I knew you long enough where I could come no. to you and ask Ronnie, you a question and get answer, a straight answer. The answer for life is no. Don't bother me with your problems. You could have sold that car any time. You could have sold it once you had your new car and it was operating fully and working well. Then you put it on the market. Or your interim car could have been a lemma. Right. I Don't have... tell me your problems. Do I tell you my problems? No. Excuse me? Did I come to tell you I'm leaving regular radio, go to satellite radio? What no. should I do? Did I say, oh, what should I do, Ron? <laughs> you weren't allowed to. Right. <laughs> but you've talked to me about other things, problems. I don't tell you my business problems. I didn't ask you to tell me your business problems. I wouldn't. I don't want to burden you. Listen, I'm paying you for a service. Provide the service. Don't, can he, Do we have to get into this what now? Kind of, what kind of brain surgeon sells his car, doesn't have a car now? I he have a car. I got a scalpel. It. That's basically yeah. what he did. He sold his scalpel. If you were a surgeon and you go, oh, I'm getting new tools to do brain <laughs> surgery, I'll sell my old ones quickly because I'm sure the new ones will be here on time. You had to do this on the air, right? Yes. Because I'm not comfortable talking about this stuff off the air. Why? I don't like telling people that they do dumb things. 
to their face. I like doing it on the radio. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate that. We're so much better here. <laughs> Seriously. I, 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 what kind of guy sells his car before he's got the that's network? That's how he makes a living. What do you mean? Oh, that's car. my problem. I didn't say it was your problem. It's my problem now. now. If that's the car... And by the way, I don't care what he drives around in. I just wanted the privacy you window so I could so I could talk on the phone without sharing my information with Mike the driver and Ronnie. Yeah. So I'm sitting there going. Oh, well, I would make that me? phone call, but I can't. Yeah. yeah. You're killing me. <laughs> I'm in the car for four hours yesterday. Well, I'm that's when I, I, you know, I was thinking, wow, that's a little uncomfortable if you have to be in a long. I'm sitting there going, I got 900 phone calls. Look at the smirk on your face when you're saying it. Oh, you know, you... I got 900 phone calls to make that are very of a very private nature. And it's a busy, busy, busy day. And I go, I well, can't I... do it. What if the, the the busiest day you've ever had in your life? In my life. Most important day. And what are you in? His truck. Uh, it's not my truck. <laughs> Well, it's, well it's, it's my truck, then. <laughs> You're like Mr. Haney on you Green Acres. It. You don't get it. This is a service business. John, you're on the air. You know, Ronnie, you're really highly unprofessional. Howard, I think you should fire him. Okay, you know, okay. you, you know, you drive, he's the king of all media. You're driving no, it in. No, it's not a, a question up. of that. I'm not a snob. I'm just saying, you get the guy's providing a service. What's the rush to sell the old car? Howard, what I don't understand is why did you hire a midget to be your bodyguard? All right. That's another story. That was sad. Well, anyway, the that. point you make is that you use the car for business. <laughs> yes. And you've got a lot of business going on. He decides, you know, it's time for him to change cars. He needed to change I cars. I didn't realize. No, that's just You're not supposed it. To realize. No, no, something happened and it. It doesn't matter, Ron. When right. you have your new car in All hand right. and you're driving it, then you sell your old car. And if he can't do that, he has to think, all right, what are my clients' needs? And then he has to supply those needs even I in know. the period of time between cars. Let me ask you, this is the same as if you went to scores and Lonnie forgot to hire score strippers. Right. right. Well, Lonnie, where's the strippers? You know what? I can't get... I got some Getting them in. next week. Yeah, they're coming in. You're kidding, but I'm here now. I, I paid to see strippers. <laughs> Can we serve you some lobster fra diablo instead, sir? I got a guy who's, who can dress like a woman. How about that for a little while? Yeah, that's all right. If you went to scores, had a couple if of you drinks. went to scores and there were no women there, why would, would you say Lonnie's a schmuck? The food's a good the food's a good. Would you say Lonnie's a schmuck? <laughs> what would you say? <laughs> You'd say I, hey, Lonnie I, can't, I can't say anything right now. The general manager is sitting in the other room. <laughs> The good thing about yesterday was there was no cameras around to record you getting getting in the truck. <laughs> that I didn't mind. It's a nice looking truck. It's a nice truck. I, I, listen, I would I would love that truck. He's up there with Ronnie. I just need to do some private business. That's why I, that's why I got a limo. That's the only reason. I don't want to be driving around some big gaudy car. I need I need privacy. Right, Ronnie can turn around and rub your leg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but who has a limo service, sells his old limo, and doesn't have a doesn't new one? Doesn't have a limo. <laughs> doesn't have a limo. And he goes, is it okay if I drive around the truck? Oh, I think, okay, a day. What the, who, I can't be an ass about it. Now we'll we're we'll on day four with the weekend coming up. This is like Tony Roma's running out of ribs. Yeah. And he never says to me, gee, should I, uh, well, you shouldn't even say that. Just go get a limo. It's not my fault you don't have a limo. Okay. Why should he make the decision? What you should do. Well, and now you embarrass me by having to bring this up on the air because you're making these moves. I don't want it. Just do your job. You're a businessman, I thought. Shameful. <laughs> how do you do this to me, man? <laughs> After all these years, how do you do this to me? What did I say Why can't you talk to me off the air? Why, why should Ronnie, I have why to embarrass have to myself? Well, all you had to do was say, Ronnie, what do I hire you for? When I said to you, are you my, are you my pal who drives me around? No, what, what, what are we carpooling together? No, 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 no. <laughs> and that's what you look like now. No, but I thought we had, we had enough of a relationship when I no, asked you. I'm all not you had to do was say, no. No, I'm not. I yes, just, no. Ronnie, I got to tell you Wait, something. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed. I got about a billion things on my mind. I'm not sitting and thinking through the how many days when I you're going to have it. When I asked you the question, <laughs> you said, you I, say my no. car's a day late, I'm bringing a truck. I go, okay, that's all I said. Not uh, for the next, you didn't say to me, for for the next couple of weeks. I just said, now it's not a couple How long is it going to be? When's the car going to be here? Tell the truth. Hopefully tomorrow. Yeah. Is that true? Hopefully tomorrow. It's not going to happen. It's a week. Hopefully tomorrow. 
I have to get a point. My point is, is why do you have to ask me if it's okay? Go rent the car. Or, or keep the car you have. Well, I didn't foresee this problem coming. You never know what problem you got. I have. understand that. There's one way you don't have a problem. Always have your car. I don't care about you selling your car early. <laughs> That's not my problem. I didn't say it was your problem. Hey, as long as we're carpooling, can you guys pick me up tomorrow? <laughs> hey, Dominic. Ronnie, please use mine for the next few weeks. It's a brand new Picasso lemon. No, Dominic. Ah, please. Dominic, that's not my point. point. My what? point is, listen, I don't need to be driven Picasso around in any limo. kind of limo. Picasso. I have a wide screen. I prefer Empire Coach. I'm sorry. Excuse me. No, I would prefer anything <laughs> where I could have, have a privacy. I had the privacy window, privacy glass. It's got the extra wide door. It's got the wide you gotta have the extra wide door. TV. All right, thank you. Yeah, we have, we have I don't a flat screen. Thank TV. you, Dominic. Well, I mean, you can pick it up this morning. I don't need it either. I don't, I don't. I just needed my own. I had a car. He took it away from me. It's got three phones. Oh, thank you. Fax machine. He took away. He took, he took away the car. He didn't need to do that. Why, why was it my problem? That I didn't say it was your problem. It is now. Why were you asking him then? You made it his problem. Because I didn't... Now you're running around in that truck and thinking, hey, this is fine. Because you it's laid not. it off on him. Yesterday was a major hassle for me. Instead of doing your job. Dude, I had to make a million private phone calls. I know, and I, I couldn't share the information with Mike. I, 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 I apologize. It's my fault. I, I got nothing ah, else to say. I'm that's leaving. the point. I'm leaving. <laughs> Rectify the situation. My day. Uh, yes. My day wasn't ruined enough. By the way, my, my day, day wasn't ruined enough. My day was, ru ru my my day was ruined, ruined yesterday. Now you got to ruin my day too, right? He's saying his day was ruined now my day. Everybody's got to be ruined. <laughs> what is he talking about? You ruined my problem? day. You didn't have to ruin anybody's day. Where's my car? All you had to do was say to me, no. Who now owns my car? Oh. No, I don't. Your business is not my problem. I am ruined. Uh, let me ask you, where, who owns my car right now? Because I want to go hire them to drive me. Yeah, because they have a car. Actually, yeah. actually, the guy. <laughs> oh, he's got his lamb in the Who's got it? <laughs> Where's my car? I want my car. Uh, a guy in Connecticut by Gary's house. Can you call him, please, and ask him if Gary he can drive me? Gary actually knows the guy because he's used him. All right, can you ask Gary? Yeah. If I, if I can have that guy's number so I can get a driver? Yes, thank you. What was so wrong well with his day? He's saying now you ruined his day more. Well, because he's having problems ruined. with a new car. <laughs> so it's, so it's, a, it's my problem. I'm involved with him. Oh, dear. See, you people don't know how to run a business. <laughs> it's almost like saying, yeah, I have a limo, but can I carry you for a few days because the car is not ready? And I swear to you, I don't care if I'm in a garbage truck. Right. I just need it. I, I, I'm trying to get some business done. We just made the biggest move of our lives. It would be nice to have a little separate. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the phone. I'm talking even to my kids. Uh, Mr. America well, said, I, I tell you, I saw one of the reports. You were driving off, and I was like, boy, he's almost right next to the driver. I'm practically giving him oral. <laughs> all right, all right, look. Hey, hey dude. Uh, dude. Can, can we drive? You should be on the phone getting me that car. Dude, she is so happy to stick a knife in my back. I don't know what I ever did to her. And wait, she wait, did it to wait, yourself. Why did she, why did she I didn't do take the knife. You put the knife there. Because she did nothing. If she, if she would have shut up, <laughs> I just happened to see how close he was. It would have been over with now, but now she keeps digging. You're and insane. Digging. I'm not insane. She's not digging anything. She is. She does this to me all the time. Oh, the please. Hallway, what everything. are you talking about? The I'm hallway. trying to stop those coffee clouds. You shouldn't even be in the hallway. You should just be quiet and sit there. I am, but everybody can No, nah, I hear reports. That's what I was saying, that he could have, he could continue his show uninterrupted if he got his own assistant when you go to Sirius. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I can get my own channel. <laughs> well, I'm going to get you a channel, all right. <laughs> Look, dude, I'm sorry. I, pro I apologize. Do you know I will, I, I, will recti I will rectify the situation Thank you. today. Thank you. Okay? Bye-bye. And now, could you please leave me alone <laughs> and stop already and go on to something else? Drew Carey is here. And thank you. <laughs> The chair you sit in, I sold it. We'll have a good new one in about a week. Wait. Don't worry about it. Ronnie did get the new limo. Oh, yeah.
it, it's there today? Yeah, I don't know what to do about it. What? It's very embarrassing. Oh, uh, what? Well, I, you know, Ronnie said to me, I'm getting a new limo. So I said, um... Oh, okay, great. He says, I'm thinking of taking one of these, like, trucks and stretching it. Yeah. I said, well, won't that be kind of big? And so he said, listen, come see it with me and you'll take a look. I said, listen, I'll go see it with you. I'll take a look. I said, I, tell, I don't want to, I just want to be low key though. I mean, it'll, it'll be much better because it's, uh, it could be bigger. It'll, um, it, it, there's a whole bunch of reasons why it'll be better. I said, okay, I'll go look at it. So I never got around to it because I'm always too goddamn busy. I said, Ronnie, I, tr I said, Ronnie, I trust your taste. No, no. Really? You said that to him? Which is the craziest thing you can say to Ronnie, because he's the guy who puts Playboy mud flaps. This is what I'm saying. You you had to fight with him to get the mud flaps off the car. I car. know. The guy with play the... Mate, uh, the Playboy napkin. I was going to say, the guy with a Goodyear tire coffee table. And the, said, and the colored taste. water. He pulls up in a thing today. <laughs> it is a big... Ma I was shocked that you were going like to... Like a big black truck. <laughs> But it's half a city block long. Right, yeah. I heard I heard he went to look at one, but he made yours even bigger. Yeah. Oh, no. It's so big, you can't even like like you can't put your legs up on the other side of the seats. You so don't far. reach there. You it's a, like a block of wet. Yeah. I know what you're talking about, man, and I can't believe you're gonna be. <laughs> you know what? You might as well put a set of horns on the top on the uh, hood. So I think I'm gonna have him sell it, and then I'll just we'll just buy a new one. Just got it. And I'll make up the difference. I mean, I don't know what to do. It's huge. It's just like it's like look at me. You it's, like put, a, it's one of those things you can like put, you know, they have them in the inquiry, you put a yeah. jacuzzi in it. Or, yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> I it's will like, never slip out of here and conspicuously. It's a stupid car. It's a stupid car. It's like your 50 cent or something. It's like the guy who goes to the gym in Brooklyn and wears big stupid pants. He's right. never make you happy. No, 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 no. It's, you know, it's, what is your deal? It's my fault. I should have gone with you. I, how many times it's did the size I, how of many, Pennsylvania. How many times did I talk to you about this? You did. You could get the state in the car? My problem oh, is... stop it. It's the same goddamn Sorry. I just didn't want to be bothered, you know what I mean? Right, he's got to get his job to get the car. I know, and I just went, What oh. did he say yes to? Oh, I got to sit right on top of Mike now. <laughs> well, You're not even in the same car. vehicle. No, I'm not even, I can't even see you. <laughs> you got to call him on the phone. You should be happy. You hate me, so you should be happy. You don't have to see me. You're always complaining at me. Oh. That's funny. It's got everything but a swimming pool. Uh, yeah, I figured. <laughs> yeah, it's really... Got it on, you know, golf course. <laughs> then he goes, how do you like the back seat? I go, it's so uncomfortable, well, no, but then he got mad at me. Well, he he said, you didn't how say it was you uncomfortable. Like the back seat? No, I, wait, here's what I said to you. I went, gee, you know what? You're, it, I can't... You're so effing hard to please, man. Do, you know what it is? Seriously? Like the limo. Can I tell you something? I, I never no, complained. Yes, no, I did. Oh, you used to I hit my head on that damn light. No, Ronnie <laughs> put it. I in. can't get in this car anymore. Listen to this. He the bought, seat's in the way. The last the doorway's car, too small. The last car he bought, this guy, whatever he customizes, he puts in a light. The, uh -huh. the car is very low. He puts in a light every time we want I didn't put in like a, a light. Like that a big light. round bulb light you did. I didn't put it. They put it in. Yeah. They wanted you to be able to For read. For three years, I've been banging my head on that thing. You get in, everyone, and my bam, mother, right into the line. my mother, and my girlfriend, the, everyone the, bangs their head. The one they walk out bloody. <laughs> they walk out bloody out of my car. Do you want to know why we finally changed cars and got rid of that light? Why? Because Beth hit her head. Yeah, well, because course. that's why right. Why should we that's be not my fault. Head. It's not your fault. You got a big bulb sticking out where people it's get in. It's not a bulb. It's a... You know, the girl was unconscious for a day, and so was I. I, I knocked my head in there. Why is there something jutting out of the roof of the car? What, what is your problem? You, you, I've been in limos. limos. I haven't seen anything in the middle of the roof Daddy of the puts car. In, the Daddy limo. puts in a phone. You can't even see how to dial it right. on the last one. I had to make him rip it out. Yeah. You how are you going to see the phone? You are, you are such a... So now I said you gotta to look at these designs. You go, got I, go downstairs and look at that thing in the garage. Oh, I can't wait. I it's the it. size of Rhode Island. It is not. It's I know what you're talking about. Come on, Robin, let's go right yeah, now. Yeah, I would go, love to. Go now. Go. Let's go. Go. Come on. go down now. Let's go. Wait, I'll make a commercial break. What? I said I'll take a commercial break. Okay. Then okay. come back. Okay. Wait, I want to go. I want to go see if it's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, so. let's go, Artie. Yeah. Party, 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 <laughs> go. white head. Go What's party white me head? now. Uh, well, I'm not it's starting it's one of those party trucks, okay? I'm saying it's, it's a party it's truck. Like when no, you do it's not. You know, what, Ron? It's like when you do an appearance at a strip club or something. And, and they said that big, gaudy limo. No, it's not. It's not. Hey, Ronnie, can you put my name on the side? 
<laughs> I swear to you, I thought it ended there. Like, you know halfway to that back. This might be as mad as I've ever seen him. <laughs> what are you gonna do, man? He, he has no taste. He's pissed. What do you, what do you mean? You, you, know, you know you got that Guido sensibility. <laughs> but he's Jewish. You know, you're I ready. Know. <laughs> you are ready for cribs. Let's go look at the cars. Yeah. <laughs> yo, this is my stretch. <laughs> This is my stretch, yo. <laughs> well, now we have no choice but to get rid of it because the whole world is going to see it now. Oh, yeah. They were going to see it anyway. Now, there's plenty of those riding around the city. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get enough attention. Oh, my God. Look at this guy looking at it. He can't believe it. <laughs> it's like the Queen Mary. <laughs> Everybody's just staring at it. I give, I give up, man. I really give up. And see you later. Why did? Oh, yes, oh, look, look at the, the guy end. pointing at it. That's it. They're all staring at it. It's a black guy pointing at it. Yo, that's my ride. My whole family. He's like, who's upstairs, man? P. Diddy. <laughs> Much love. Uh, <laughs> 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 brothers. A lot of brothers are going to do Woo. Well, you got some ride. I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> you think no I mean yeah, that's the kind of car people don't notice. <laughs> it just blends in. I just want to get in and out of places easily. Right. No, and that's the bl that blends in. It really does. Nobody will be looking. Do you think anybody be looking to see who steps out of that? <laughs> <laughs> There'll be a spotlight on you ever. Uh, oh, there's another black guy. <laughs> Car seems to a black, uh, uh, attract a lot of black. <laughs> but you notice how much attention it's tr attracting now. I mean, my goodness. <laughs> There's not one neighborhood in New York City where you could park that. Oh. Not one. All right, we're gonna take a break. We'll be back right after these words. <laughs>
was configured exactly. Maybe because it's a little less ostentatious and configured on the outside, it doesn't look as bad. But this, everybody's going to turn around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Audio what are you doing, man? That doesn't stand out at all, okay? <laughs> oh, look at you. That's the point. Oh, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying. Well, limo the, car, is the, car, the, the car that you had before stood out also, forth. okay? I go back and the forth. The car you had before stood out also. No, this is not the 20, that a, one. Not a 20, like this. A 24 foot not limo, like this. A 24 foot limo, honey, stands out just as much as hey, whatever dude, you Hey, dude, I hear, honey. Not in Manhattan. Right? Dude. That thing is a party limo. No, it's not a party limo, okay? A hey, party, I'm going, a party limo. Excuse me, I'm going to prom. Do you I, think I, I got one thing to say. The maintenance man said if you don't want it, he'll take it. Oh, good. I'll take it. A party limo. I, I don't think it's beautiful. I mean, it's some yeah. weird way. It's like a rocket ship is it's, beautiful. It's, at, and if you saw it, you'd look at it. <laughs> yes, I would. I go, I go, which a-hole stepping out of this? <laughs> That's the point, that it begs to be looked at. It's a cool car if you're constantly pulling up your pants and doing the rock away. Right. right. <laughs> wow. Because Ronnie got into the back with me. I said, I'm still hearing the rap music. <laughs> I like hearing it. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's pretty wild. You pissed off? I'm not pissed off. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in the Howard. I try to discuss this whole thing with him, and uh, it's, it's just like he says everything. Yeah, that's good. That's good. You go ahead and do it, and then he then he rips your new a hole, man. It's not right. It's not right. Put your input into it. Come down and spend a half hour with me, and you know, build a call with me, and then uh, everything will be fine. So but what no, you, what are you gonna do? I don't know. I have no idea right now what I'm gonna do. Right now, I feel like setting up, taking a match and setting it on fire right now. Don't do that. You know? Guys, like, you can't make him happy. That's his problem. You just can't make the guy happy. No matter what you do for him. He's an angry man. Yes, Ralph. I'm sure you talked about it this morning, but I'm not up that early. How, how, bad, is the, uh, how bad is the new car? I don't want to talk about it. Come on, tell me. We already talked about it. Come on, is, other people besides me weren't listening. Is it, is it like gigantic and packy? Oh man, it's very big. <laughs> Believe me, it was discussed. It was discussed a lot. Way to keep a low profile, right? Well, I should have looked more into it. I, Ronnie's right. What do you mean? Well, I mean, I, I should have gone. You left over. it in Ronnie's hands. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I should have sent you actually over to take a look. Is it, what, what kind of car is it based on? Let's put it this way. Puff Daddy thought it was ostentatious. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. Oh, come on. What kind of car is it? Let's put it this way. 
I drove in this morning. Yeah. And uh, as I walked out, smoke comes out first. <laughs> and then I... Then you and, my, and then my bling bling <laughs> oh, comes out, and then I come out. Oh, I can't wait to see it. He's wearing gold teeth today. Let's put it this way. At least now I can earn extra money handling cargo. <laughs> Let's put it this way. Black chicks find me attractive now. What color is it? Jet black. Oh, God. Does it have, like, spinning rims on it? No, but... That's the one that spins Ronnie Spears. <laughs> it is the size of a city block. <laughs> oh, no. Let's put it this way. Someone said, hey, I think Beyonce's in that car when I was driving by. <laughs> yo, 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 what's up? Let's put it this way. I don't think my, I, I can go visit my kids this weekend. Then. <laughs> They're certainly not going to get it if you can't take them anywhere. No. <laughs> they don't want to be coming out of it. Put it this way, I have a problem. <laughs> oh, my God, how embarrassing. Well, all right, it's going to be worked out. It'll be fine. <laughs> it's, it, it definitely says I'm in that room. There's a presence. You know, I'd be at home at uh, the Def Jam poetry reading. No, it's kind of like a rap star, guys. Yeah. You know, it's not really a guy who... It, it kind of says, hey, please look at me because I'm desperate. A little much. A little bit. And, you know, you're a guy who likes to show off and do stuff like that, so it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, you know how boisterous I am. Yeah, you like to drive up to a place to make a big scene and a, a big uh, entrance. Well, you, yeah. yeah, you do want people to look when you drive up. Yeah. Let's put it this way. Ludacris is jealous. <laughs> do, you a, do you have a big uh, system in there blaring? <laughs> I don't, know. I don't know. I don't know what I got. I asked him if the car bounced. <laughs> let's, put it, let's put it this way. There were three other potential buyers, and they all had the word ice in their name. <laughs> let's put it this way. If you need a ride to the prom, I'm your man. He's your man. And you can bring many of your friends. You can bring the entire graduating class. I think, I think teenagers might be embarrassed. Hey, Ralph. Ralph. Can't you ever mind your business? Oh, dear. What do you mean? What the, what the hell business of this is yours? I, what do you mean, my business? Why does I'm not I'm asking Howard how what, what are you, what are you, his son or something? You gotta give him advice? Yeah, sometimes. What the hell's your problem? Sometimes? What do you mean advice? What's I don't, your problem, I don't man? The car you didn't even see the car stack. How can you even say anything? You gotta you, be... He asked me my opinion. I told him. Why is he asking your opinion? Because it's a talk show. Who is he? 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 He's listening to the show. As soon as he told me, he got some kind of truck that attached together with your sensibilities. Attached I knew it was going to be a wreck. And how come you didn't have a car for five days? I had a car. Yeah, what? Never mind. I don't have to explain anything to you. Who the hell are you? You didn't have a car for him for five I days. I had a car for him. Yeah, not what he paid for. He paid you to drive him around the limo. You don't know what he limo. paid for. You don't you know what he pays for. Mind your business. Ralph's uh, part of my entourage. He's going to be in there with me. Yeah, yeah. right. Everybody hates him. I'm not getting in, in that thing. He gets in that thing. He gives directions. He thinks he's, he, he knows everything. Yeah, I can drive better than half your guys. Yeah, good. So go ahead and do it. You don't do anything else. Oh. All I know is I've got to get OnStar so I can find my way to the front of the car from the back of the car. <laughs> got OnStar. <laughs> Ronnie, you going to sell it? Because clearly he's not happy with yeah. it. Well, we'll talk off the air. We'll figure out what to do. Everything will be fine. There's a lot of guys who are in the prom business who are going to want that. Sloppy might Well, money. there's also a lot of guys in other businesses. That's not a prom, prom okay? That's not... If you see... <laughs> what, what am I wasting my breath for? <laughs> you know, I... Just... I'm telling you, a lot of guys would like that car. Dude, I told you... I told you a couple months ago we were sitting in the car, or I think we were at the dinner at Nobu, and Ronnie said he was going to get, a, like, some truck and attach them together, and I said, uh-oh. What are you talking about, attach them together? <laughs> it's the size of a, of a boat. I mean, it's literally like the size of a steamship. It's like a steamship going down the street. <laughs> when I come in, you hear... Like... <laughs> They have to raise bridges for him to Yeah, okay. <laughs> right. Is it? Hey, does that car come with a posse? Is yeah. it an Escalade? Yeah, well, you, you, got, you got Ralph. Ronnie, what is it? It's an Escalade. Oh. It's and stretched, and it's stretched want, and it's And I want to thank the guys at Empire Coach and King O'Rourke Cadillac and for doing such a great job. Why do they get a plug? Okay. Why, why not? Plugging? Why not? Why are you plugging? Why not? Because everybody's knocking their car today. It's not well, their car. Nobody it's knows. Car. Now, now, now they know it's their car. They didn't, nobody knew who made it before you started blabbering Please. their names. <laughs> yeah. You know what it is? I just think that Ronnie and I have very different taste, and I left it up to him, and I shouldn't have. It's my dude. fault. I don't blame you. 
Yeah, no, it really is. I know your taste. Different taste. Dude, you're the guy with the Playboy mud flaps, Playboy gloves. No, that's what your style is. You're giving your own. The interior of that car is the same as the other one, except it's a lighter color. Yeah, but you're the guy. Complain about the interior. I like the interior. It's huge, Ronnie. I can't be undercover in that thing at all. Ronnie, don't you understand that? Shut up, Ralph! As he goes somewhere, he doesn't want attention drawn to him. Oh, he then don't ride in a limo it. like I told him before. What? Don't ride in a limo then if you don't want I mean, to. Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie. Every day he didn't want to be in a parade. No, Ronnie has a, a tattoo of his favorite t shirt on his arm. Yeah. He has a different kind. That symbol, the, the skull, that's your favorite t shirt. Oh, and you told me you like that, so I guess I you do, lie. But I guess it's, you lie. it's not something I, I like. Lie. It's not something I would put on. It's good for you, Ron. It's good for you. The car is perfect for you. It's like the car is a float. The car is kind of who you are, but it's kind of not who I am. That's all. Are you and it's my fault. Dude, day did, parade, did we discuss this before? We yes, you told me. Built? You told me to even come and see it, and I didn't. I made a mistake. I should have gone to see it. I had a feeling I should have. I get so busy. I just go do whatever you have to do. That's my fault. I'm too busy. I am, Tom. I'm too busy. Can I ask a question? Sure. Why are we plugging the limo place? I don't know. Well, I didn't put him up to it. That. Seriously. I mean, if, if, because if there's if there's a deal, I need to know about the deal. Yeah, is there a deal? No, there's no deal. Okay. So I just, I mean... So hit the button. That's the way you're sitting don't, back there. Don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> if there's a deal... <laughs> I love angry Ronnie. We can't give businesses plugs don't do it without then. knowing it. No, no, you're the one who's doing it. I'm not the one who's doing I'm it. I'm angry, the... okay? I don't know, so what? <laughs> that has nothing to do with my business. The business is there's rules about plugola and payola. If there's a deal there's with no this... There's no deal. Okay. Good dude, we're calling the SEC on you. I just need to know. That truck cost me six figures, okay? There's no deal, believe I, me. All right, well, I just need to know that. Do you have a deal? There's no deal. Are you a friend of theirs? Did it cost you six figures? Yeah, I'm a friend of the Cadillac dealership. Tino Rock, Smithtown. Let me, let He's me an ask advertiser you a question. on the show, remember? I know that. No, I do okay. remember that. But let me I don't ask remember you that. He paid money. Uh, the, yeah, the other guy, I don't remember advertising. He, Ronnie, no, let me ask you a okay, question. So what are we All right, so hit, so hit the button on that one. Don't I'll get upset with me, Ronnie. Ronnie. I won't say it anymore. Okay. Don't get upset with you, Ronnie. Here's a quick question for you. You know, Howard, you know, he said, you, you just handle it. I, I don't have time. You know, he's busy. Right. You think maybe, maybe you get a picture or something and kind of no. float that by him and say, hey, take a look at this. What do you think? Yeah, I, I might have said it looks a little big. Or, you know, some Saturday evening, you know, Especially you keep gangs of people going out in a car like that. You point it out to Howard. <laughs> you by. No, I lift it up to Ron. No, that I was... shouldn't have. I shouldn't have. You know what? I made a mistake. You know, you're talking about a party car. A party car is eight feet longer than that. Hey, do you know who you know calls what? up wants to uh, see it? ODB. Good. <laughs> you heard Fine. of it. Maybe he'll Let buy him, it. Let him buy it. Who cares? I don't care anymore now. Don't care. Is Howard, Let him have it. is Howard changing the name of his apartment to Bubble Hill? <laughs> Let him have it. You I better don't care. care, Ronnie. I don't care. Your, your main customer's not satisfied. Sell it to BET. Well, Ralph, then maybe you should come and take over, because you seem to know everything. Well... That's why you call in for every subject, so I you know, know, a few you things know it there. all, okay? I know a few You're things. a real businessman sitting back there in your apartment doing nothing. Hey, Rudy, you're on the air. I could have told you I was on car. What, Rudy? How you doing, guys? Hey. I just want to say congratulations. Thanks. And uh, maybe Ronnie can send a limo to pick you up from where you have to park your limo. Yeah, is it possible to get a limo to pick me up from the limo? I mean, can you even drive that thing in the city? Yeah. Yeah, you can drive it. Uh, I mean, it's just for me, it's a little ostentatious, that's all. Oh, yes, what? Jeff the Drunk. Oh. Hello, Ronnie. You're un you're an unprofessional moron. <laughs> and you're an idiot to boot. Why is he an idiot? Because he is. Uh, he right didn't console you at all. He didn't ask you if you wanted it. Oh, you shut up, you moron. You don't even know what you're talking about. Shut you're up, Ron, you drunken bum. Ass. You're a drunken bum. You're an you ass. hear what we were talking about, how we, I did talk to him about it. You're a stupid ass, Ron. You're a moron. Go to hell. Go change your mother's diaper for her. Oh, shut Go up, ahead. Go ahead. Ronnie would okay. let me smoke weed. 45 years old, sitting there living with his mother in a, in a broken down trailer. What does that mean? <laughs> you know me. 
Ronnie wouldn't let me throw up on the concrete. <laughs> Howard, does the dance floor nice in there? It's big. It, I, I gotta say, it's a very nice interior and everything. It's very nice, and believe me, a lot of people would be happy with it. I'm just kind of a little more low key. Low key. Uh, I, I just I know when I, I can't deal with. This. I know wherever I pull up, it's gonna be a big, a big brouhaha. <laughs> It's a little less. It's a little. Stop. You see a lot of limos in Manhattan. You don't see anything like that. Yeah, okay. But I give you an answer. You don't. There are certain you don't see cars that like that. really attract attention. That is one. It attracts a lot of attention. But Donald Trump's gonna roll up in that. No, he's not. Not no, even. No, no, he wouldn't. <laughs> he doesn't want that. Trust me. Well, it's it's turned out to be a long day. <laughs> It's the kind of car you rent to celebrate your acquittal. <laughs> Marty, will you drive me home? <laughs> I'll take you home. Oh, you don't, you don't have to worry about me driving you home. I already arranged that. Oh, my goodness. I, so you don't want, I know you don't want to be in the same car with me. Today, so I took care of that already. Gary's on, right, I like Gary's on his way. I like Believe you. me, I got to go to Fort Lauderdale and, and rest my head. That's guys, right. That's why you're going. I, I'm really going to have to rest my head now. Oh, please, you're getting right on a plane to go to school. That's what I said. And he'll forget about this as soon as he's there. Hey, Roddy. No, you, hey, I didn't get a good look at it. Is there, is there a kitchen in that car? <laughs> there could be if you'd I like swear. one. Would you like one? I could put it's me really like one. a trailer home. Yes, it's a trailer home. There's three bedrooms, two bathrooms. <laughs> I swear, it's like a trailer home. Jeff, drug sits in there. Yeah, it's big right there. Yeah. I mean, it's like a living room. There's yeah, an oven like in a living room. It? Yeah, there's an oven. There's uh, everything, hey, everything you want. What, there, do you, what are you doing? There's a bathroom. What are you doing going to Fort Lauderdale? You think you should get on this problem right away? No. You're going to make your problem here. No, I have no problem. I see that. No, I have the problem. I have no problem. <laughs> yeah, no Ronnie problem at all. It. He has no problem. I have no problem at all. <laughs> I'd stay and help you, but I have work in Fort Lauderdale. I have to go there for work. Yeah, right. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Ralph. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no thank Ronnie, you. Thank thanks, you. Ralph. Thanks for a uh, lovely day. Oh, come on, Ronnie. Enjoy yourself. So sit and look out the window. Thank you. I'm just trying to help. Yeah. Yeah. You, oh, you really helped me. Thank you. <laughs> Ronnie has different tastes, that's all. Yeah. Right. Ronnie has different Leave it at that. You no, do. I think Ronnie, it's Ronnie, fault too. Ronnie it's my fault. fault. I didn't right, pay yeah. attention. Ronnie doesn't have to do anything right for you. Yeah. I'll oh, see. Yeah. You're yeah, never right. going to learn if you get defensive, Ronnie. Yeah. You're, You're all right. defensive, dude. I am. I just that's don't right. like it. I that's am all. totally defensive. I'm just uptight about it. Yeah. I don't feel comfortable in the car. Okay, fine. Why is it a big deal to you? Then I don't know what we're going to do. We'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah, I'm not figuring nothing out. I'm, keep, I'm keeping it. it. No, no, I'm it. keeping it. Well, you can keep it. Just get another one. Not get another one. <laughs> <laughs> get, another, then get another limo company. I guess I got to get another limo company to drive me. I could do it, Howard. All right. I'll go. Right you know what? <laughs> you just buy the car, Howard. I'll drive it. No big deal. All right, thank you. I, I'm a All right, Ralph, driver. thank you. <laughs> oh, is it there today? To do it. It's very embarrassing. It's so big, you can't even like like you can't put your legs up on the other side of the seats. You so don't far. reach there. You it's a, like a block of wet. Yeah. I know what you're talking about, man, and I can't believe you're gonna be. Gonna you know be... what? You might as well put a set of horns on the top on the uh, hood. So I think I'm gonna have him sell it, and then I'll just we'll just buy a new one. Just got it. And I'll make up the difference. I mean, I don't know what to do. It's huge. Do I look like 50 Cent to you? What is wrong with you, man? I can never make you happy. Dun, dun. As dude, much as dun, I try. Dude, I'm not, dude, here's what we're going to do. Dun, dun. What am I going to do now? What do you want me to do? We'll sell it. We'll get a new one. I'll we'll make up the difference. Oh, I'll make up car. the difference. Look at that car. It must be DMX. Are you kidding me? <laughs> are, you, are, you really, are you serious? By the way, do you want to see it? Wait, he has yeah. a camera on the uh, car oh, right wonderful. now. You don't even have to go downstairs. Go ahead. Go ahead, E. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> I love my niggas, but where's my bitches? I love my niggas, but where's my bitches? Like, take, go, tell room. the camera to move, like, take Look a full on shot. Even know where <laughs> Look at that! Oh my you God. know what? I thought there was something parked behind you. <laughs> <laughs> That's one car! Yeah. <laughs> Exactly that car they look put in the National Enquirer. Look at that. <laughs> With bedrooms and, and hot tubs. I was like, the spring scene is playing smaller venues. <laughs> yeah, guys, a whole band's tour in less than that. After all I went through for this. What did you go through? A lot. What? Tell me what you went through. A lot of aggravation. You trying to make you happy, but obviously that never worked. Everybody wanted me to talk to Pat Croce, the relationship expert, with Ronnie, because Ronnie and I are having this thing with a limo. 
Yeah, you two seem not to be able to communicate too well either. Yeah, but do you want to go back and revisit that? Because everyone came in, you should do that. But I said, well, have we had enough relationship stuff for the day? You know? I <laughs> can't fix them all. Okay, how many of these can you fix? Because <laughs> everyone came running in and goes, how come you didn't speak about Ronnie Lemo Drive? Because that was, you know, that was a hot and heavy uh, situation here on Friday. Yeah. It really was kind of tense. I don't know. I, I uh, would it be easier just to sell the limo? Well, Ronnie doesn't really know that you want him to do that. Hey, where's Pat? Is Pat still here or did he leave? <laughs> I'll do this for two seconds. I don't want to go any longer with it. Because I got a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> I have trouble telling people things directly, except when I'm on the air. Off the air, it's difficult for me. I'm being honest with you. Why is that? I, uh, I'm afraid of people's anger. I don't like anger. I don't like confrontation. So I sometimes hold in my true feelings, and I end up getting angry with myself. And what's happened recently is, uh, and this sounds so silly, but um, Ronnie is the limo driver, and he got a new limo. And he said to me all along, he said to me, Howard, come with me, come to the shop, come to the limo place, and look at this limo ahead of time, because what I want to do is stretch a truck and escalate. And he said, you should come with me, see if you like it. And uh, what? First of all, how come I'm getting ambushed? Gary and Scott got to talk to him for 20 minutes beforehand. <laughs> getting ambushed. I didn't talk to him see, beforehand. you got work to cut out for you right away. I'm thinking maybe he could help us. Why do you have to see it as an ambush? No, because it... I knew nothing about it. So I knew nothing about it. I said, okay, the guy's here. He's a he relationship hasn't expert. To Howard either. You're both starting out on equal ground. Okay. Dude, what's wrong with you? No. How you doing, Ronnie? Good. Good. How uh, you doing? I'm great. So Ronnie said to me, listen, come with me. <laughs> You're going to get this new limo. I want you to see what I have in mind. And I said, okay, I'll go with you. And I never did. I was very busy, I think. Recent events in the newspaper sort of indicated why I was busy. <laughs> All right. And I didn't. No, this was eight months ago. No kidding. How do you know how long he's been working? I have no idea. Okay, so I've been preoccupied with family, with work, and all that kind of stuff. The last thing that's really important to me is the limo. But I, Ronnie did say to me, come see it with me. Well, and I, I it, should be, it should be important to you, the limo. Okay. You're in it enough times, and you, you know. Right. So I said to him, look, I trust you. Whatever you get is good. Just make sure it's not ostentatious. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, you know, I'm a low-key guy. He knows who I am. So he came back, he said to me, listen, I checked it out. I think this is the way to go. I said, okay, done deal. So two days ago, he pulls up in this thing. It's the size, it, it's very big. It's, it's, not, it's that's a, not true. It's very difficult to get in and out of this limousine. You have to sit on the floor to get out. Um, uh, so far, the few women that have been in it, have, my, my girlfriend ripped her dress and other women said, well, you have to get in and crawl and I'm, I'm wearing a dress. I don't want people seeing my underpants. I should I understand. So I have trouble saying to Ronnie, listen, I think the limousine is a disaster for us. I think for some prom kids it would be good. I, I know a lot of guys would make a lot of money with this thing because it's a specialty item. But I have trouble looking at him in the face and saying, oh my God, Ronnie, I think we've made a mistake here. It's very difficult to tell me because he's rolling his eyes. I'm he's not upset. rolling his eyes. He's upset. Ronnie, how would you feel if he told you right now the truth? Listen, he could tell me whatever he wants to tell me it's fine but it, it's not like you can just throw something away like that it's not an old shirt that you throw out the window it's something that costs a lot of money and you can't just take it and throw it away and build something overnight to replace it see he wants uh, me to like it no i don't he want wants me that's let, not let, true can i be this honest not true. Please. he wants me to like fix it like change the seeds and stuff and see if we can fix it i think that's throwing more money into the situation howard what do you want to do i want to get rid of it and get a regular normal limousine ronnie can you do that no why not because it's it's a whole hassle can I you mean, look into it ronnie you're going to tell me you can't evaluate I, can, I can. limousine listen listen let me explain my situation first, Please. okay, before you start taking me apart. <laughs> hey, listen, I make no judgments, all right? I'm only here to help. I came to this man a year ago when he said to me, you know, man, I'm getting tired of getting in and out of this car. It's too low. It's too this. We're talking about the regular limo we have. No, 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 no. That's a lie. No, it's not. You said to me it's time for a new limo. 
I would never Hold tell on. you when to get a new Hold one. Hold on. I never said a word to you. You said you used to get in the car in the morning. No. no. I said it's hard to get in and out. I'm See, getting no, old. He, he's not being honest. He's not no. being honest. Listen, okay. you get a new car. How many years do you wait to get a new car? Three years. Okay. How many years was it you had the car? Three years and four months. All right. Five so months. am I lying when I say every three years and four months you get a new car? Yeah, but then you say... So am I lying? You, you lied because you said to me that you, you, you got sick and tired of bending down and getting it was the difficult. Car. It was difficult to get in and out, yeah. So admit it. I'm admitting that. Okay, fine. So but I, you I, get a new car anyway. And I, and I came to you and I said, listen... You've been in, in a SUV type truck before. Right. Yes. And you said, gee, it's a lot easier to get in and out of. That's it. true. Okay? So I said to you, why don't we build a limo like that? Okay. That's and you true. Said, and then you, you, you talk. First you said you didn't know, you weren't sure. I'm nervous that it would be a little. Okay. Let's show the picture of the car so Pat can see what we're talking about. No, show the real picture. The real picture. There it is. No, I'm, it. no I'm just it. saying because they put a picture. They put a picture Turn up. On the, they put a picture it's up on the. It. You know, let me talk, okay? You put a picture up on the website of a car that's. Not, Why are you laughing? Is cool, cool. Is LL Cool J there? <laughs> yeah, okay. You see, see, that's why we're not going to get anywhere. Yes, you will, Ronnie. I'm only uh, kidding. No, you see, that's you, why. You, you, see, you, now you, you got him on. You know, no, I don't playing have up him. your game here. I don't you know have what I'm saying. Why he thinks it? Listen, Ronnie, you don't have the best taste in the world. Why don't we? Yo, yo. What do you, you know you're you're very what are you talking you're about? The car, it's, it's black. The car is black and that's no, it. There's it's nothing it's... fancy outside. Dude. What, what, did, what, what happened with Don Buckwell yesterday, my agent? What happened? I what never talked talk to Don about my car. I swear to you. And so you pull up and what happened? Uh, why, why do we have to bring Don Buckwald into this? Are we talking about we Don Buckwald? Well, he... No, we're talking, we're trying to settle this thing. Oh. We're not talking about Don Buckwald now. All right, let me take my honest feelings. Does anybody want to leave the room like I do? My <laughs> feelings are, why don't, can't we look into selling it? No, can we, let's, and, let's finish this conversation first. Go ahead. Let me hear what Don said. No, let's... Don finish. looked at it, he goes, what's this? He says to Ronnie. I said, this is a new he car. He goes, there's a new car. He goes, oh, 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 I guess you, it's a loner. And he goes, no, 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 this is a new car. He goes, this is a, Don goes, but what is it? This is, this is a truck, right? And Ronnie goes, yeah. And he goes, when are you, are you going to get a new car? <laughs> he was all confused. And Ronnie goes, oh, this is the new car. And then Don goes, no, 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 it's not. Then he sticks his head in. He goes, is he telling the truth? <laughs> he can believe it. And I go, yes. <laughs> You know, you're putting, you're putting this whole thing on me, and you, you know, no, see, this I'm is not where, putting it on you. I want a solution. You don't see. Here's your problem, and Pat's going to tell you. No, this, I'm, let me finish. Your problem, your problem is you're finish. not hearing me. Let me finish the it's rest of the story. It's not your fault. It's my fault for not going to look at. It. I'm accepting full no, responsibility, no. but I want to solve the problem. And you don't, man. You don't want to give it up. Rod, do you appreciate that he appreciates what you've done? No, you got him a yes, car. I do. No, he doesn't appreciate it I at all. I appreciate it at all. He doesn't appreciate it. He's admitting, it. He's admitting it that he wasn't involved in the initial evaluation of the vehicle because he was not there. No, he's I not. I trusted your taste and I know better. I shouldn't have done that. See what I mean? <laughs> I was wrong of me. I, told I me. take responsibility for trusting you. I told you exactly the way it was going to be built. I told you it was not... Did you show me a picture of it? I told you it was not going to be bigger than the other car that we had. Let me ask you something. Look, did I tell you yes. that? I, did I tell you it was... Can I get in and out of that car not, without sitting on no, the floor? No, let me talk. It doesn't matter. Why? With nothing it's, ever gets I don't out. like the car. I'm the guy who's got to be in it. Well, yeah, I don't like it. I'm telling you how I feel. I don't right like there. it. Well, I, Are I, you going to convince him by by going on with your story that he does like getting no, in that I, car? No, I, I'm taking the blame. I don't like it. Let's solve the problem. Ron, do you want to... Be right or make it right. He wants to make it right. No, he wants to be right. He wants to be right. Well, now uh, he's oh, what, all right. Okay. He, wants, he <laughs> wants to <laughs> be right. All right. Now, he, now that he took the whole blame for it, supposedly. I'm asking you, how do we solve the problem? Still sticking, problem? still sticking a knife in my neck. Before. How am I? Well, it's not bad. Like, how how, how, how am I doing that? that? You're retarded. Because dude. he's making it sound like, oh, because I'm a Eugene and I have bad taste. <laughs> you do. You have a black truck. I hate it. It's different taste. Let's put it this way. It's different taste. If he doesn't a friggin' limousine, dude, exactly you're wearing a purple sweater today. <laughs> <laughs> it's not purple. What is that? Moth? Yeah, exactly. Bro, here's Why, what, what I'm saying. Listen that? to me and try to understand what I'm saying. It doesn't, it's not your fault. Why is it it's not a, my fault. Why is I it? don't like the car. How do we solve it? Then you meet with the people from the coach building and. Why do I have to meet with because them? Because you're the one who's going to pick out this next car and I got nothing to do Just get a regular limo. No, I'm not doing it. Why can't you get a limo? Because I'm, I'm not doing it, man. I'm going to let you do it. 
I'm going to have the guy come here, and you're going to sit here with him. You know what? I have a friend who's a limo driver. I'm going to have him do it for me. How's that? No. You want? I'm going to let him do it. No, because he doesn't. You want to be in charge, or you want to let my friend be in charge? No, I don't want Make your choice right charge. now. I don't want Make your choice right charge. now. Do you want to be in charge, or you want my friend to be in charge? See, because I don't have the time for this telling, nonsense. You're telling me this is fair, right? It is fair. Why is it fair? Because he's given you the opportunity to make a change. He doesn't like the limo. He wants a change of limo. He's going to his and friend, and driver, bodyguard to make a change. So that one didn't work. Okay. Some things in life don't work. It's okay. You don't have to take it personal. He's it's taking business. it personal. No, I am taking it personal. But you don't have to. Because I don't it. like your taste. I'm taking it very personal. But I don't like your taste he, this time. Howard had the opportunity to pick the limo of his I didn't choice. do it. He didn't do it. So I'll help you get rid of it. You're, you're sitting in the clear, Ron, as far as I see. Yeah, all you have to do is go out and get another car. Stop trying to defend this car. He's not saying you have to pay for it. No. I didn't say you were saying that. I never said that. So what's your problem? Yeah, what is the problem? Dude, you're getting all weirded out, man. You're acting weird. We're gonna you really it love that car, don't you? And it hurts when he they, wants they, to drive yeah, that car. He loves you that love that car. car. I, I admit it, I like it. <laughs> you love it. But I don't. <laughs> I'm the customer. Fine. <laughs> That's what you're having trouble with. You you're can't let right. go of it. Everybody else is wrong. No, he's right. That's his the way he always is. So. But wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Do you hear how mental this guy yeah, is? Yeah, I am mental. Loser. Yeah, I'm mental. <laughs> loser. I'm a loser. <laughs> loser. Whatever you say. Loser, loser. You're not following the argument. Rod, everyone. Rod, Rod you got to say something. Everyone is right in their own taste. There's nothing wrong with your own taste. If he doesn't like the limo, he doesn't like the limo. He would like a different limo. Fine. No so problem. he's giving you the opportunity to select another one because you're I'm not driving another one. Wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. Don't be, stop. Don't be defensive. Why would you not? He's a baby. Because he doesn't, he doesn't like my taste, okay? I'm a Eugene to him. But he's Eugene. Yeah, exactly. That's so right. if he didn't exactly. like your taste, why would he give you a second chance? I like you as a driver. <laughs> well, I'm like you. I mean, I like you. No, but you don't. Yes, I do. Please. Oh, dear. Did I mention you twice in my speech I gave? Yeah. What speech was uh, you like drunk. that, though? You were drunk. So what? That means he likes you even more. Dude, what am, what am I saying that's wrong? Tell me. Tell me what I'm saying that's wrong. I don't like the card. That's what, what you're, why that's you, you're mad why, about? Why did you say to me yesterday that we could correct this? Because I have trouble telling you how I feel. Why? Because you're miserable, old. Eugene. No, that's not, not it. That's not it. Let me tell you. Listen, let me tell you. Can I just interject? Did you just... tell him you were going to work on the car? No, I said to him, I told maybe. He says to me, listen, we can get the seats fixed, we can get the this fixed, we can get the that fixed. And I'm like, oh. He okay. doesn't want to hurt I, your feelings. I, I feel bad. He's very sensitive. He doesn't sensitive. want to hurt your feelings. This is Howard right. Stern, but he doesn't want to hurt your feelings off the microphone. Since when does he worry about hurting oh, people's come on. You know who I am. All the time. You know who I am, right? You know who I am. you. Admit I'm a good guy. Yeah, okay. Oh, boy. So, Ron, when are you going to start looking for the new car? I'm not. Ronnie, you're going to So you're going to let him let do? someone else pick his car he's that you'll do. drive. And he'll be happy then. You want my buddy to do you want, are, you, are you saying you don't want to drive me let anymore? You, no, let your buddy pick out the car. But I can't. I can't. Yes, it's I can't. great taste, I guess. So you don't mind if my friends do it? Let him do it. Be my guest. Do you want to work with him? So I'll give him the phone number or the guy to call. Okay. No problem. I don't want nothing to do with it. Nothing. This will make you happy. Yeah. No. This is the resolution of this conversation. You're going to drive the car. You're not going to have anything yeah. to do with the front of the I car. You'll just. I got okay, nothing fine. To do with anything. No complaints for the next three years. years. But I still need him to assist me in getting. You know, if the guy had a good attitude. Again, I'm, I'm attitude. Actually, I'm getting angry. Yeah. I'm going to tell you something, Pat. I'm getting mad during this. Because he's a guy who's not cooperating with me. He's not listening to me. I try my best to do no, everything you, to make you happy. You're not listening. Don't interrupt. And you'll don't interrupt. And you're never. You're never happy with any time out, right? Don't That's interrupt. That's not true. Go, okay? I've employed you for how many years now? Tell the truth. 19, 19 years. 19. How much grief have you gotten from me? Zero, dude. I never sit and give you a hard time. I always tell you you do a great job. You've been with me I, 19 years. I not only that put you in the goddamn security business. I understand. No one else would have. I understand. And I'll tell you what. Well, we came to So if I say to you, hey, G. Ron, I'm unhappy with something, instead of getting all defensive, say, hey, how can we solve the problem? Well, why didn't you do why? that before we completed this whole well, thing? Well, he didn't, Ron. You know what kind of hassle this is? Ron, he said that because he doesn't want to hurt your feelings. So now that it's done, you don't have to pay for it. It's not your mistake. No, I do have to pay for it. I'll tell you. I, I, I don't, do have to I pay don't want to go into the finance. We sell it. We sell it. Yeah, and then I got to get another car. Okay? All right, so we'll get another so car. So now the car that we get is not going to be through the same. Why not? 
Oh, oh, oh. Um, Why not? Um, Why is it not going to be through the same leasing company? No, it's no, not, not the leasing company. No. What the same? So, so, so get it? So get it? So get it? I'm never going to get the deal that I got. Get a GM car. I can't. I Why not? Get another, I How do you know you won't? How do you know you're not going to get another car? Didn't we go through that no. once already? You okay. can't get another car. I can, but I'm not not through GM. How, how come? Because it's not the same car. Because I don't car. want that kind of car. Yeah. Why? You don't care what kind of car you drive. Don't you remember the problems we had? So then get a different kind of car. You'll get you'll get good financing. Wayne will help us. You're not getting zero. Dude, I got zero. So so what? So you're talking about two hundred thousand a month that I'm gonna have to pay every month for the next three or four years. You personally? Yeah. It's his limo company. But how do you know that you haven't researched at all? I know what the, I know what you have it. Tell I, the truth. Tell the truth to Pat. You haven't researched the financing. I have. At all. I have. What, see, what do you tell me I haven't when you I You haven't have? researched that. Who did you call? Oh my God, Who did you man. call? The commercial bank that I was dealing with with the other car. Yeah. They offered to finance my next car. I said, can you give me 0%? They said, no way. If you're lucky, you'll get nine. Oh, please. Nine? Get it's a commercial out of bank. I'm serious. It's a commercial bank. Come on. Okay. Come on. See? This is what I'm up against. He never believes no, but what he, I'm but telling him. Can I tell you something? He, he says, he's I didn't. Paying, he's paying a lot less money than he paid for his last limo. You understand what no, I'm saying? No, not. What if he had to pay the same amount on his limo? No. Yeah. He didn't want to, he didn't want to be in business. What $200 you, a month. Listen to me. So if you had to still pay $200 more a month, you still make a good of living. It's yeah, not like it's, you got no, a, you got an exceptional deal I'm, on that one, so now I got to suffer. Yeah, but you're not saying that. You're and saying, what if you sell saying, that car and someone buys it for saying, a lot of money? You're just saying what if you sell that win? car yeah. and somebody buys it for a lot of money? You're you haven't looked into that. You're selling the Howard Stern limo. You haven't looked into what it what you could get. Yes, right? Look at how famous this car is. No, I didn't look how much I can get. You got it on eBay. I did it. You didn't even research. You didn't research. I said I no. I researched on financing though. Yeah, but you didn't research what you could get for the limo. You could end up with I, a pile of dough out of this. You, you don't even know. So why would I? Why well, didn't even think about selling a car I've had well, for look a day? Into it. Well, this is what he's been trying to get you to, but you wouldn't listen. Because he doesn't <laughs> work. <laughs> you sit out there on your ass, make a few phone calls. Rise to the occasion, dude. I'm your bro. I even said to him the day I went down and checked out the limo, I said, are you going to force Howard to stay in this limo? No, my God, I, I'm not forcing anybody to do anything. Okay, I, I'm not forcing anybody. If Robin said that, that should have been a hint. What? Can't even see the mirror. See I can't get close to it. <laughs> this is what I, this is what I mean. I, I, I'm getting ambushed here. You're not ambushed. You're not listening. Exactly what I'm totally you getting admit ambushed. You admit you haven't looked into anything. The guy didn't sit down with me for 20 minutes and hear my oh, side of the story. Please, you haven't first. looked into okay? anything. Now he's sitting there making jokes. He didn't sit there and make jokes with Scott and Gary. I'm now not making jokes, jokes Ron. I'm just saying, listen ah. to Howard. He's the boss. He doesn't like the car, wants his so own car, and he still wants you as his driver. How it says I should jump off the roof. I should do it then, right? Whoa! Is there a direct not correlation with jumping off the roof in a new car? Dude, where would you see that? No. I'm not to do this isn't a battle. I don't like the car. Maybe you could look into seeing if we could okay. do a different one. Fine. You're, you're being stupid. But I'm not gonna design it. I'm not gonna have nothing to do with it. You All right, so good. So you'll sit it? you'll sit and drive a car that you have nothing to do with. You want something you're fine. Your we'll buddy, do it. your buddy, my buddy will do it. Let your buddy do it. But you you abdicate responsibility. Now he's hurt. I am hurt. Why are you hurt? Because I don't why like are the you car. Hurt? Why no. are you hurt? Because you 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 don't want nothing to do with designing the car. So now if I go to You're hurt because I don't want to design a car. I go build it. I'm not in the car you're design the one, business. You're dude. the one who's complaining dude, about I'm not it, in the, I just want a regular car. You're the one I want a regular about. car. What okay. is your solution? Tell me. I'll do whatever you you say. I have, what is your solution? I have to talk to the people at the coach building. Ah, you gotta talk to people. Yeah. That's what you should be doing. No, I talked to them already, but they were willing to oh. when we talked yesterday, I got right on the phone with them and I said, Listen, Howard's unhappy with this, Howard's unhappy with that, Howard's unhappy with this, and they said, We're willing to come and correct whatever we have to correct. You didn't say anything yesterday about getting rid of the car. You said maybe we I'm can, having maybe trouble we, telling you. I am hurting we, your feelings for some reason and I don't know why. I don't know why this hurts your feelings, dude. Because I try to do something right and nice and make it more comfortable. You did a great you job, because, but dude, because it you're didn't saying, work you're out. Telling, you're telling me how it, you're having a hard time getting it out of the car. This, that. I'm sitting on the floor. You're gonna, you're gonna continue. Nobody, nobody, I, I got a car to sit on the floor. Ron, he just said that you did a great job. He just doesn't like the car. He's only doing that to pass. No, I'm not. I'm telling you, you did a great job. I don't. This is not my style. It's my fault. 
But why are you taking this as a personal attack? Because I am. I'm very, I'm very hurt by you know all the situation. This, this is bizarre. This is a bizarre guy to do. And, 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 and then you tell me that my guys... If I was a bad minute, guy, if I was a bad guy, oh, well, you know, you I would fire your limo company I, the way you're talking now, and I would just get a new driver. But I'm not suggesting that. I'm saying I made a mistake. Can you help me? Figure this out, Ron. He could have put it any better. Yeah, but, and, 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 you're calling a mistake. And That's tells, what it is. And then he, he tells me that my guys are afraid to tell me that they don't like the car. They are. They don't like it. That's right. They like driving it, but they don't like the car. Some people have said some things to me. I don't like want to get anyone in trouble. No, I want to say I no, know. no, no, no. Because some, one of my guys came in here with a big happy smile and a uh, laughing. You're paranoid. Day. You're paranoid. Yeah, he thought it was really funny that the whole situation that was going on between It them. is funny. People are enjoying listening yeah, I'm glad to you, it. I'm glad you think it's funny. Because Why is it an attack on you, because dude? It, that, the attack that you did to me on Friday ruined my whole weekend. Oh, no, it stop didn't. It. You if it ruined your weekend, you went to scores. And the reason you go and to scores is because of me. Because of me, you go to that's scores. Right. I never said no. I never said so no. So you notice you went to Florida. And notice I'm here. That's right. Notice I didn't so run. Notice I, I didn't run away. It's a, okay? it's a, is it because he's not bright that he's not understanding this? Yeah, I'm Tell the truth. Yeah, I'm I thought stupid. the point. Is he dumb? I yeah, thought I'm the dumb. Po- Ron, I thought the point that Howard made was he apologized, he apologized for not evaluating the car. He doesn't like the car. He I loves what you did for the car, but he just doesn't no, want he, he wants you to look into please, a new car. Go on the website and see how much he, he appreciates what I did. <laughs> I got a question for you, Howard. Come, come I on. didn't make those pictures. Yeah, you approved them. They're funny. A couple of people came to me outside and asked me a question because when this conversation came up last week, you did say something on the air and they, they think I should bring it up to Pat. Okay. You said whatever this mistake is costing, it's going to cost me money. You. Yes. Do you still stand behind that? Yes. Is that the way to solve a problem though with money? But that's his. Well, that's what you brought up, Rod. Rod, you brought up that issue about two hundred dollars a month. Yeah, but I don't want him paying for it. I'm paying. I don't want him paying for but it. But he's paying for something that he wants. It's not like he's giving you charity. I'm not trying to bankrupt That's you. That's the way it sounds, though. No, but it's, he's paying to get what he wants. What did I say that's wrong? I don't see anything. Listen. Yeah, I'm stupid, remember. I didn't say that. <laughs> I'm dumb. I'm stupid. saying it. <laughs> but okay, listen, I got to deal with the guy. <laughs> hey, listen, you live with him every day. That's in the right. Limo, right? Yeah, and I, and I, thought, I thought we had a better relationship where he would come and talk to me and say, listen, I'm talking to you now. now. He's got to do everything. I got a goddamn everything. relationship expert. Everything. You don't even follow anything. Everything's got to be, everything's gotta be done on the air. He can't Ronnie. talk to me face to face. I don't talk to people face to face. I don't talk to my own family Why face to face. Why would this be different than any other well, time? You, you tell me what's wrong with that then, that he can't talk to you face to face. I have a problem. Then it's got to be on the air. That's right. Everybody's dirty. Dirty laundry's got to come out on the air. That's how I make a living. That's how I pay you. <laughs> Tell me about that. But, Ron, you choose yeah, Ron, this profession to be with him. Answer my question. This guy That's wrote me letters is. to be my limo driver because he was friggin' in love with me. He loves the whole show. Why would he expect I... me to be any other way? This is how I live my life. Look, pal, here's what I'm saying to you right now. All I'm saying to you, I didn't say anything bad about you. All I said is I'm not happy with you. You didn't car. say anything bad about me. No. Friday, no. you didn't say anything no. bad. No, what did I say bad? Repeat Name that. one thing I said bad about you. That my taste stinks and I'm a Eugene. That Why is that bad? You don't have great taste. You have different taste than me. That's all. It's a black car. Please. That's it's right. Simple. It's a black there's truck. No, there's no mud flaps on it. Right. There's no fancy I think stripey you have on it. Different taste than I do. There's no fancy wheels on it. I'm just, I don't. I don't get it. Everybody. Yeah. Every. Yeah. I, I won't even. I say told it. you you have different taste than me. Okay. Fine. Fine. It's not a put down. How about if I get you a nice black limo? With, open, with three doors that open like the funeral cars with the rope, three rows of seats. Why would I want that? I don't know what you want anymore. All right, you don't know what I want? No. Okay. I don't. So I will... Get your buddy. I will have my friend I'll, go with you, no, and he will I'll, pick out the I car, will tell you buddy and he'll who, drive it. I'll tell your buddy who to talk to, and your buddy can go to the... But you've got to now arrange for this to happen. Do you understand I'll, you're I'll in on this? It, but I'm not going to be there. Oh, fine. I don't know why you want to absent yourself from the whole situation. I don't know why you can't participate. Yeah, you don't want to drive in a car. I don't know. I, you're I don't, acting I, you as know what? I don't care. I'll sit in the seat and I'll just... Why is he so defensive? Yeah, Have I don't, you ever seen a case like this? What is here? Have you ever in all your years of relationship building ever seen a, 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 a loon like this? He's got, <laughs> he's got some underlying agenda here that I don't know what it is. Try Ronnie, and get what is it? to work with him. Yeah. What is it? No, I'm, I'm very hurt by this whole thing. Okay, you apologized. I understand the apology. I accept his apology, but I, I still feel but bad you said, about but. this whole thing. Wait, you said, I accept his apology, but big, his, ugly his, troubles I follow. Wait a minute. I spoke to his girlfriend about it right. also before I even did it. 
she was all for it also. She rides in the car with him. Right. She was all into it. She was excited about it. When I told her the car was coming, she was all excited about it. Now, all of a sudden, I'm an idiot. I'm, I'm, she never said you were No, I didn't say she said it, but, like but I, I have lousy taste. I got this, I no, got I, that. I, I, she didn't you say know, that. I didn't say she said it, but you did. She tried to get in and ripped her whole outfit. The whole outfit's completely ripped. So I'll pay for it. No, that's not. I'm not asking you to do. You're not following. Yeah, like, you're gonna like, pay look, for like, every look, outfit. Can't, like, people can't. People can't get in and out of the what car. What did he say to me? His parents wouldn't be able to enter that car. You have to. He can't get out well, of it. Well, I try to drive it over to my parents today. If they can get in and out of the car, <laughs> then, then I'm okay. How's that? Why, why did you give it a shot? Why, why am I saying? No, 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 so Howard. Why would you? Don't, don't do that. Huh? Because you don't like the car. You'll torture him for the next three years if your parents happen to like it because they're afraid to hurt his feelings. So no, don't give that caveat. You don't like the car. Stay with your guns. Let Ronnie help design and create a buy I'm a not, new one. I'm not See, now I feel so bad, I'll just stay with the car. No, no that's it. No, no, I will. This is ridiculous, because no, nobody's going to be happy. You have your happy. way. You won. No, you I don't won. Want you win. I don't you can't help to. me. You win. I'll sit in that car. No, I will. I'll get I'll you. sit on the floor. But I just, I don't just do said, anything. I don't I want anything said, from you ever again. You know, I showed you true colors to me. I just said... From now on, I think you're completely different. How about this, Howard? Then we'll never get along anymore. You're completely different. Then we'll never get along anymore. You're not the guy I thought you were. Then we'll never get along If only one of you can be happy, why not let it be you? He doesn't want to let me be happy. That's, a, let me. that's a perfect line. I was going to ask, we know what will make Howard happy. Yeah. A new car. Ron, what will make you happy? Right now, in one second. Whatever sentence. makes him happy will make me happy. That's it. But is I don't want anything to do with building this car. No. Uh, that would make you happy? Yeah. Seriously happy. Not just Seriously for the show. Happy. You're lying. I want him. He's lying, And Pat. his buddy to design Pat, the car. he's lying. Rod, okay. That's not I'm true. asking I you want, the truth. I want a neutral person to sit with him and build his car. Why? Because you don't trust Why are you my getting judgment? so? Why are you, you don't getting, trust my You know judgment? what I want. I you want a regular sitting. stretch you you don't trust my I want judgment. a regular okay. stretch car. You, you know what I once. want. You know what I want. You already said it more. You know what I want. You already said it. Why are you, you acting like trust, a fool? Because you don't trust my judgment. Why should you I You heard what Pat said. What do, you, what do you want? You said you want to make me happy? Fine, I'll get I you. I don't think you do. I don't think you do. I think you're lying. I think you got an emotional problem. I think you now okay. want to set up somebody I have an else. Emotional problem. I have I've a taken problem. care of you for years in many different ways, and I'm going to tell you something. And, and I too. take this and, as a and, personal and that, insult. And, and it, it goes personal both ways, insult. Too. It goes both ways. Uh, yep, that's okay. it, Pat. You ruined everything. Boy, these men are <laughs> sensitive, aren't they? Listen, I can't get what I want. It goes both ways. I want ways, the guy man. to go out and look into something. I took care of you for years, too. Yeah, okay, good. In many different situations. All right, maybe it's time for a change. You made me think about it. All right, you can go now. Whatever. That's it. Wow. I'm done with you. Pat, great job. I, I am. <laughs> Well, at least you voiced your opinion. Well, it, it's not helping me. You didn't help. I'm mad at you now. Wow, <laughs> Bring wow, it on. Me. You're my new driver. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you pay for the tickets, I'm in. How'd that go, Baba? Not so good. I mean, it's fascinating to listen to. Do you understand, Ronnie? Yeah, well, the people, actually, the people in the office are talking about it. And I think that, you know, what it comes down to is that Ronnie got the car, and he was so happy with it. He thought he did the right thing. He did that, no, for that, him. Yeah, that, he's suffering he, massive disappointment. He's taking this as a personal rejection yeah. of him as a person. I know, it's weird. But I don't know why. I don't know. My, my problem with him, I understand. Okay, yeah, I'm disappointed that that didn't work out. Now he's not ready to move on. Exactly. Yeah. He won't get past it. Move in and move on. Yeah. Right. Even though Howard allowed him. The yeah. courtesy of saying, I made the mistake. I did. I should have been a part of it. That's right. But he now is vindictive about it. He wants somebody else to screw but up. He's not even going to participate. But that's how, when Ronnie is hurt, that's how... But do you understand the hurt at all, Pat? I mean, if I'm being unfair here, please tell me. You're, you're really fair. You're fair. I can understand being hurt because he put his heart and soul right. into yes. this vehicle. Yes. But then you just took him off the hook and said, I made a mistake. I'm willing to pay for the mistake. I like who you are as a driver. I, I, want you to, I want you to help me design a new car. I just don't like that taste. Yeah, I, I, rather than suffer for three years through it, you should it's, not. it's hardly suffering. I mean, there's, there's real suffering in this world. I could deal with anything. But what is that, Benji? Why doesn't Ronnie have the right to say no? Because, I, because first you of all... You have the right to say no, and he has the right to say no. no Ronnie has a right to say no, but I'm his only customer. Right. <laughs> I'm telling him but I'm unhappy. Archie, you have his right to say no to him? I'm willing to... I'm willing to, to say no to what? I'm to willing, say either you take it or leave it. You're, you, why can't he say that? He, well, he if he's saying that, then I got to hire him. If he's hard, saying no, is that where, what it comes to? If he's saying he won't do it, then I'm going to have a problem. Right, but you both he, right he, to say he, Wait a minute. He's my only customer by my own choice. Because right. This is where I want to be, okay? So you're not saying take it or leave it? No, and I'm not saying take it or leave it. I want to work with the guy. I'm just trying to. Are you I'm saying not saying I'm not happy. I'm not saying I'm not happy working with him. 
I'm just very unhappy about the whole situation that turned out with this car. But why? A, it's a, it like ripped out my stomach this weekend. Okay. Even though you said I went to score, I called you before I left and I said so go. I wanted to sit and I talk to you about this whole out. thing and settle it over the weekend. Yes. I would stay home. I wouldn't and go. What did I do? Did I call you, you and never say you go? You called me back on Saturday, so I was already gone. I said go to scores. Have a great weekend. We will work this out. And I had a great weekend. Right. And I should and be I working was out. And I the whole weekend, so I didn't have to think about it. Oh, well, now you're working it out. So here I'm saying, but we're I'm, working it out. I don't feel that I'm not happy with the car. Why you? I'm, I feel if I design anything for you now, it's not going to be anything that you like. No That's matter, not no matter, the attitude I mean, to how have. many cars have you had with me over all the 19 years? Yeah. Uh, four? Remember the first okay. car? Four first cars, car, right? you knocked me for the first, the first. Why did I knock you? Before you started working for me, you had Playboy mud flaps, Playboy locks, Playboy was, napkins, <laughs> and I said, "Can you please remove them?" It was just a, it, all right at the time. <laughs> but why is that a bad thing? And you removed them, and it worked great. And every car you've gotten since then, I've enjoyed and been in. And now we made we made this move to stretch a truck. Sounded good on paper to me. Went along with it. I'm not happy with it. Rather than sit there for three years and be unhappy, I'm coming to you and I'm saying, Ron. Let's just go back to a regular car. Let's figure out the finances of the right. thing. I'll help out with it, and we'll figure it out. So what you could do for me is, you obviously know how to do a regular stretch. It's easy to do that. Fun. You'll do it. It takes it takes a lot of time. So we'll take time. So until we get it, we'll 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 drive it. Ronnie, hear him. You what am I doing wrong? Yeah, but I'm telling you, I just don't like the car. Why are you why are you why are you freaking out? You don't want to change. I understand. No, 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 no. It's, it's going to require some work. That's it's true. No, it's going to. It, it's going to require work. No. You're not going to have to build the car yourself. I need you to go and look into making a new car, one that you're happy with, that you're comfortable with, but a regular stretch like you've done in the past. The truck thing isn't working. It was a big mistake on my part. You had to put a lot of energy in. It didn't work out. That's so it. all I'm it's saying. a lot of time running Absolutely. back and forth there trying to I know how hard you work. Right. I know how hard you work. Yeah, but every, and all I Ronnie, get, can't all you I, accept what he's saying? Yeah, but what all, are I, you get, all I get is comments from him. Uh, how, how the car's a piece of crap. How, yeah, how, no. how he doesn't like it. I don't like it. How it wasn't designed right. That's and, right. And, and, so, so what? And so I what? Said, I don't I like it. To, it's a brand new idea that didn't work and you, for me. Yeah, but you know what? You're not willing to try and fix the things that aren't right. I'd rather well, not. He, he, like he, can't can't move, he can't move. He can't move the height of Robin, the car. Robin, that's not what we're talking about. What are we talking about? We're talking about where where everything is positioned. If it's changed, Fred, it's what a am I doing It's wrong? a possibility. What am I doing? Well, at this point, the entire car. at this point, no, Ronnie's it's not. Just, he's just trying to hold on to this dream. No. Yes. I mean, I hear what Ronnie's saying. He put his heart and soul into this car. He's very, very, very disappointed. Why can't we make try and make the corrections? Well, just, he just doesn't like it. Oh, why make the? Uh, I doesn't want right, them. That's it. Fine. No problem. We'll get rid of it. Now Sorry. he's taking off the headphones again. He's tired of talking Why because I, he well, doesn't want to get rid of it. Why are you so defeated? It's because everything is... Why do you see everything this as a battle? What I'm saying is wrong. No, you're not wrong. You're not saying anything wrong. But he wrong. doesn't like it. I just don't like the car. It. Why are you angry about me not liking it? I don't get it. Because you were... Because I was what? I was wrong. I don't like What's it. It sounded good on paper. Okay, fine. Why are you angry? Why am you're I walking angry? around Why angry? You going over and over the same thing. You're just just to, he's I'm not angry. I feel weird being around you. I'm not you. angry. I'm freaking hurt, man. Well, hurt about what? That I don't like the car? Yeah, yes. because I, you know I. Why, did you? Did you? It's it's irrelevant. If there's a painting on the wall that I like and you don't, I sat there with these guys. Would you be hurt? I these guys' balls so bad. Building okay, this wall. I understand. Make sure he has this size flat screen TV. Make sure it's this. Make right. sure it's that. Absolutely. That and I want you to put the same energy into the next one, except I want a regular car. No, because uh, well, then we got a problem. You don't. You don't. You just don't. Uh, like, I don't like the car, but I you like, like you. What I do. Listen you to what like I'm saying. Taste, you, no. said it. you know what kind so of I, car he so likes. I you like it. That's what I'm did you I have, have, I did did you have four cars? Did you have four cars before this? Yes. Do we have a problem with any of them? No. This is a brand new idea. You're not listening to me. I'm designing this thing. That's all. I tried my best on this one. It didn't work. Ronnie, you this is like a complete. This is a complete. This is. Listen, I'm gonna. Else try. I'm, gonna I'm gonna tell Gabby. I'm gonna tell you what I think. I don't want to be with you anymore. Not working. That's what you're saying. No, I'm not. That's what I'm hearing. That's not what I'm saying. I'm Here's just, what I'm saying. I'm just saying I'm not happy with. All right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna finish this conversation right now, and I want you to listen carefully to me. Number one, I'm interested in working with you. All of your previous cars that you've had have been great. This was a new experiment that didn't work out. This doesn't mean you're not capable of going back to the similar kind of car we had and designing it and picking it out and making sure it's nice. That's what you're going to go do. You're going to look into finding out what it, what would be the cost of 
getting this one solved and what it'll take to get done. You're going to come to me and give me a report. You're going to begin to understand that this isn't an attack on you personally. I just don't like a car that you like. It doesn't mean that you did a bad job. It doesn't mean you're a bad person. It doesn't mean I don't like you. I like you. I just don't like the car. It's not because of anything you did wrong. I heard about it on paper. It sounded good. Sometimes, you know, you, you can, try things. You try things, and sometimes they don't work out. Yeah, but it's not like a shirt you can exchange and make. No, you it's not going to be easy. It's going to be difficult. But Ronnie, who are you? You are the guy who runs a limo company. All so right? you're going to help and me with this. And what is the job of the guy who runs the limo company? To make sure there's a car, and the car has to be suitable to the client. And I'm admitting my mistake in this. You made no mistake. So why, how am I being you a said, bad guy? Because you said I, you said I made a mistake Listen because you don't like my taste. No. And you gave me. I'm accepting I the responsibility the that so I, I should have in a new situation like this, where you're taking a new kind of car and stretching it. I should have been involved, and I wasn't. What I'd like to do is go back to the similar situation we had before, which you've designed in the past and done a brilliant job. Go check out what it would cost for you and what it would take. Can I just explain something? That's I've it. never done. What? What, Ron? Uh -huh. Say what? I would like a resolution, but he won't. No, I'll give you a resolution. What is it that I've said to you that's we'll unreasonable? You will never. It, it's so simple. What is it you don't get? Well, tell me. Pat's here. We got the relationship expert. What don't you get? A little life coach here, but this uh, coaching here is a little tough. Ronnie, I don't understand. Getting that comment from Howard right now, I would just say thank you and I'll work on that's it. That's it. Yeah, that I'm going to step up. I am the limo but, but owner. But you seem angry saying that. You say it, but you say it reluctantly. Can I, uh, can I jump in? Because a lot of theories kicking around. I'm going to be Pat for a second, right? I'm going to ask you a tough question, but a hard question. You went to this limo company. You designed this car almost as if I know what Howard wants. I know what to do. I know what it should look like. Are you embarrassed, even a little bit humiliated that it turned out this way? Is that it, what it is? Not embarrassed. I'm, I, like I told you I, all along, I've said I'm hurt by this whole situation because so you feel I, the way he's making it, and the way you got these stupid pictures up on the website, you think I built him one of these prom cars, which I didn't. The car is but so that's what, so that's what it is. The size of a prom car. To, to be Pat, yes or no? Are you are you embarrassed by the way you're Not being treated? Not embarrassed. I'm being hurt. I'm hurt by the whole situation. But do you think that your sense of hurt should spill over into the business aspect of it? No. Is it so hard to admit that I don't like the car? What is the? Why is that embarrassing? But you're right. He is embarrassed. Yeah. I think he, I think he always made to look foolish in front of there's people no, he likes. There's no winning with you. you see? But That's wait a minute, thing. Ronnie. But, but Just because Howard says you, did win you win. have bad taste. No. You have you've got a great job. No. You built, you, got a, you built a car that you liked. I, I, for some reason, for my kooky taste, I don't like it. Why is that? A, why is that a, an insult to you? It's not about you. And if I can look at him, just as he's looking at you. So you know what? Howard's taste does not meet with this car. So we have to get him something that suits his taste. Okay, fine. Hey, Ronnie, when you say there's no winning with you, ideally you don't want a win-win. You win or he win. You want it to be a win with everyone. So right We're now, pros. He's, help yeah. me out. That's all. I'm asking for your help. Whenever you start trying to keep score, both of you lose. He's not trying to beat you up. I think, if anything, he's given up. Did you listen to the show on Friday? No, I didn't. Okay. Well, that's a different day. Don't talk about, don't talk about me getting beat up. We were in shock that day. <laughs> I got beat up pretty bad. So you're still hurt from that day? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ralph, what is it? Def nope. Oh, oh, no. dear. oh, dear. What is it, Ralph? <laughs> you know, all joking aside, it, Ronnie. He's not even listening to you. He, he's not even hearing this. No. First, the, the, the problem is the inception. It doesn't care what's in the car. It's just, the car itself does not sound like it's your style. I haven't seen it yet. It just it sounds like it's big. You like something smaller, not so obvious, just kind of cruising. But he's, he's making it like I'm insulting his girlfriend. Yeah, but you appreciate right, that for too, Ronnie. If you're there, he left. He heard your voice and he left. <laughs> he's not dead, Ralph. A lot of people do that. But seriously, he's acting like it's his girlfriend. Yeah. Like I insulted his mother. Yeah. Right. It's something, there is something well, under there, isn't there, Pat? There's well, something deeper. I said there was an underlying agenda. There well, was something. Yeah. He's, very, he's a very hurt guy. But, but, you but see, I don't think it has anything to do with me. Ronnie, Ronnie's one of these car guys who's really in love with cars, so it really is kind of like his girlfriend. Yeah, it is. Yeah. He, you know? He's in love with yeah, the car. Yeah, but there's even something deeper. I don't know exactly. We can't get to it. Whatever is really... Well, he needs a psychiatrist. Now. Yeah, I he mean, does need some help. I mean, right, Pat, you know, you're right. right. Yeah. That's not me. Yeah, he's you're even guy. helping him financially, so he's not stuck with this. Yeah, I know. I mean, I, in fact, I'm even saying I don't even know how I... Tell me what the finances are. I might right. be uncomfortable with that, and I'll, and I'll just sit there and... And, and you'll take it. I'll live with it for 
later years. Ralph, I thought there was a resolution a half an hour ago. So Not did I. Now. But you can't resolve it with this, Ronnie. It's weird. He has a, a personality he that wants is... to keep the car. That is very unusual. He and really wanted that car. That's the problem. And does it really take forever it. to get a new car? Can't you just go buy one? I mean, it's a no, no, you have to design it. It takes time, but right. I'm willing to wait. I mean, what, what, what am I saying? But you don't want to spend three years. No, waiting. Should be able to wrap one in the meantime. Well, yeah. well, anyway, this is a very bizarre behavior. This is who I'm dealing with. I guess I... Yeah. Just really? <laughs> okay, let's see. Should I get a uh, different limo guy? No, no, you can't do that. Well, oh, but you can do that. You can do that, but I wouldn't do that. I let his hurt. All right. Maybe he hurt. Maybe he held their pet. I don't know. He probably just needs a good cry. Yeah, it <laughs> loosened him up a bit, I think. Is he Italian? He, no, he's a Jew who acts Italian, right? You would never know he's a Jew. He's Jewish? Italian. Uh, you thought he was Italian, right? That's yeah. that's the name, the term Eugene. Eugene. <laughs> I thought he was Italian. No, he's Jewish. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know what it's like? Remember the show My Mother, the Car? Yes. You would think this car actually embodies the spirit of his mother. That, like, his yeah, mother's... who is this car? <laughs> and you, you find, you see, it, 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 yeah, it would be like, <laughs> he goes, oh my God, I can't tell anyone it's my mother in the car. And now he wants me to get rid of her. Yeah, I can't, I gotta fight. <laughs> it's insulting my mother. I mean, it's a car, who cares? Right, <laughs> you'd think it was a person. He made it for himself. He did, he did. And he's hurt that I don't like it. But... Well, you know, he was like Michelangelo, you know, designing his David with this car. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, I've never been in a more bizarre situation. Really? <laughs> <laughs> he built the Mona Lisa. <laughs> <Get wrong. laughs> Is it hard to get in and out of? I, I don't want to talk about it. Hey, Pat, should I be afraid of this guy? No, no, no. He's not Italian. You just told me that. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Vinny? Howard. Yeah. I want to say one thing to you and one thing to Ronnie. The thing I want to say to you is, I guess when you told Ronnie you had a limo driver friend that'll help design the car and pick it out. Because he's telling me he won't design it. I, I would love for him to design it. I understand that, but that's like Gary telling Scott, good luck finding a job anywhere. Right. Well, and what, what, no, the guy <laughs> says to me, you've got to design the car yourself. He says, I want you to go design the car. I go, I am not qualified to design a car. I'll, I have a friend who drives. I'll but ask him Vinny to. What Vinny is saying is you said limo driver friend, which yeah, is different I know a guy, Ronnie. I have a friend who's a limo driver. But right? what Ronnie heard was, oh, I'm not your friend. Yeah, I know, but, that, but that's why Ronnie has a mental problem. <laughs> I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I am, not, I am perfectly willing to have Ronnie Wait, go design the car. When did I ever say You've never done a bad job. You if said don't design it. No, no, no. When did I ever say about this friend thing? What is she talking about? Because you said that's to what me, Vinny said. You said to me, Howard, I'm not having anything to do with designing another car. I try to explain to you that you've you had four other cars that have right? all been great. You've done a great job. This is a new experimental kind of thing that didn't work out. Doesn't mean I don't think you could design a car. But when you tell me you're not going to die, I say, okay, well, what am I going to do? I got to go find a guy who drives, who knows cars. I can't design a car. That's not my thing. I am a little busy. I don't have time to go sit with a dealer and do it. If you don't want to do it, I got to find someone to do it. I said, I have a guy come here. I said, I asked for 10 minutes of your time here. Right. I didn't do it. He no, said, even that, even now. Because I, I don't like the car. Okay. Ronnie, here we go. Let's let's put a little closure to this. Ronnie, if you bring a guy in for 10 minutes, schedule 10 minutes with Howard, and he looks over everything that you've already designed and put together, that's what you're looking for? I'll do it. I mean, I, I think I, Ronnie's I talking about wanna... this car. Yeah, he wants me to help. He wants me. No, he wants me to help him redesign he's this insist, car. He's insisting I built this car for me. I don't sit back there. I sit in the seat up front with a steering wheel. But you do like this car. It's great. It's great. <laughs> and I said, yeah, you like it. I said it would be yeah, great. It'll be great for him in the winter time. It's you know, it's Ronnie. whatever. It, you know. Ronnie. But I'm always wrong. But you're not wrong. What? what why, is, why is this guy so hurt? If this was Pat Croce moving in instead of a TV show. It'd have to be a made-for-TV movie. <laughs> I know. It's a documentary. <laughs> I'll bring Howard. I'll, yeah. If he gives me 15 minutes of his time, let, I'll bring the guy in here and let him sit down with him and do it. Okay. Will you do that, Howard? What guy? You don't, you don't hear what, what he's saying. What guy is he talking about? He's talking about bringing a guy in to fix his car. No, no, no. No, you I don't think so. It was a new car? No, I don't want to design a new car. No, no, Howard, I'm Howard, so... Howard. He said if he brings in a guy to select with a selection of a new car, 15 minutes of your time, will you review everything that they want to put in that yes. car? Yes, yes. Ronnie, is that okay with you? That's fine. Is that what you're saying? That's what you're saying, That's right? Fine with me. Is that what you're saying? But the guy is going to design the car, not me. I'm going to have nothing. I'll just sit there and listen. Uh, okay, but it's okay. I, I got that. I'm not interested in. I, I need See, someone. He can just be with the guy. I, I, need, a, I need a guy. I need a professional who has designed a car before. Well, obviously, I'm not. 
So it's I said sure that you true. did a good job with all the other cars. This one didn't go well. Well, you're it's the one that stepped fault. out of this. You said, no, you're not designing it. So Howard now has to fall back on a fine designer. designer. But why not let the guy who knows the business the best? No, I do. do I, if you're not going to talk to the guy about what we've done in previous cars and all that other stuff. He knows, what we, because he built all the cars that we have. Ronnie, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. He's built every car that we've had. Ronnie, 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 Ronnie. You're being a baby. You're a baby. You're a big Ronnie. baby who needs a psychiatrist. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you got a lot of anger issues. Right, I do. And you got a lot of problems. I have a lot of problems. And you don't comprehend what I'm saying. I comprehend Get everything. me a new car, look into the finances, sit down with me, tell me what it would be financially, we'll try and get a good deal the way you normally do, and try and fix the situation. Be a pro. You're not going to be able to get what you had, but get, get what, what you, you get. Get what get you can get, get, that's good, and then come talk to me about it. Ronnie. I'm listening. You know how many times we run stuff by Howard that he rejects? You, you, you want to work classes? It's an idea that you have. Sometimes we scrap it all together. Sometimes he gives you notes and you edit it. You're collaborating with the guy. He's a creative guy. Work with him to make the best. I tried that once already. No, you no. tried that for 19 mean? years, and most mean? times it works out. One time it didn't work out. One time. Guy, yeah, but it, it's, it's a big deal thing. It's, it's not a like, big deal thing. That's right. It's not like it's a $10 shirt like I no. said before. That's why I say, can you please check into it and tell me what it costs? What part don't you understand? I understand. I understand. What are you holding on to here? I'm not holding on to anything. This isn't your mother. This isn't your girlfriend. This isn't, this isn't your wife. Yeah, I have a girlfriend. Think of it like a shirt. This is, this is just a car. That you like and I don't. Big deal. Who cares? Get over it. Thank goodness you don't like everything the same. You'd be fighting over the same girls at scores. Right, we do that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's all. Whatever. We both win. Ronnie, We're working together. You must uh, let people off the hook. Now you can take your phone calls and see how you came I'm out on top. I'm done with this. I'm done with it. You came out on top and I came out on the bottom. It's not keeping me. score. Every time you keep score, you both lose. He won't let it go. <laughs> he <laughs> has to be right. Pat, what do you make of this guy? I think he'll be back in. <laughs> right. Pat, Pat Croce, obviously, we need you here full time. It's a quick show. Be back in. Right, I gotta take a break. Uh, with the 76ers this tough? At times. <laughs> At times, Robin. <Robert. laughs> by the way, this isn't resolved at all. You realize yeah. that? He's still got something. You've given in all the way. Normally, when I'm dealing with yesterday's show, we're two warring tattoo parlors on the same block in South Central L.A. And no one gives in. They both gave in. Eventually, they both gave in. It was a great resolution. I find two guys in the hood, Crips and Bloods, embracing at the end where Ronnie won't even accept your yeah. apology, yeah. won't accept your resolution. Nothing. Bring well, here he comes. Lunch. Maybe he's bringing some... Uh-oh, that's food he's giving you? I wouldn't need it. <laughs> Give me my lunch. <laughs> Thank you. He will not... He will not... He, I've, I've given up everything, and he thinks he lost. <laughs> You lost. <laughs> what did you lose? <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, we'll uh, be back right after this. What's the matter, Ron? Huh? So what's going to happen now? No, no clue, man. You no talk, clue. You going to talk to me? No clue. Are you angry? No, I'm not angry. I'm hurt. I told you that. What's your opinion of this guy, Pat? Well, he took, totally took his side. Everything became a joke. I had, I was ambushed. I didn't have 20 minutes to sit in there with him privately and talk about it before, like Gary and Scott did. I go in there and I get my ass handed to me from both of them. He's laughing about it. The other guy's laughing about it. I feel it's very unfair, the whole situation. Okay? That's my theory. And I don't get nothing else to say. So, Pat, what happened that time with Ronnie? I thought Howard gave in 100% of the way. Normally, a resolution comes when both sides compromise. Howard gave everything in. Ronnie just couldn't see it. He was too hurt. So what's the end result? What, what do you think is going to happen? I think the end result will be that Ronnie will provide new drawings of a new car, get Howard's approval, get his blessing, and then we'll go from there. Now, what's, your, what's your overall assessment of the Thanks way you... For your help, all your help, man. <laughs> I appreciate it. I came out on top. <laughs> I don't know anyone else who Howard Eskin apologized, said he was wrong, gave in, said, you're right, I'll do whatever you need, I just want a new car. Why won't the guy build his own car? He Why won't expert. He... he needs an Why expert. Won't... No. No. That's a compliment to you. Because anything there's anytime there's something wrong, I'm gonna get blamed for it. See? Well there's gotta be some fallback. Yeah, well no, I don't want that fallback. I I have a hundred and eight thousand dollar truck sitting down here that I don't know I'm gonna get rid of now. I'll take it. 
Uh, Kyle, what's your what's your overall assessment? Come up with the money. It's yours. What's your overall assessment of the way things work here? You think we all need help? Every day. You need help every day. Well, we all have baggage. The baggage here just happens to explode every day. Why are you so nervous? Well, I don't seem nervous, but I just am. Because, uh, you know, uh, Howard likes interesting stories, and I don't have any. <laughs> Mitch Hedberg is going to join us for the news. Mitch Hedberg is like a big deal comedian. Oh, yeah? Yeah, very, very popular comedian. Oh, there he is. Big deal comedian. Is he all right? He's all right. Well, what do you mean, is he all right? <laughs> Why, because he has long hair? I got long hair. Mitch Hedberg. They probably say that about you and you. I know, everyone goes, am I all right? <laughs> do you get that a lot? Are you all right? Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Ron says, is he all right? <laughs> I'm good, actually. Oh. Is it the long hair? I mean, I get that, too. I walk in a room, people go, is he all right? <laughs> yeah, plus I'm quiet, too. So when you're quiet, people think you're crazy, too. So. You're a big deal comedian, though, right? Oh, yeah, but unknown. Big, the biggest unknown comedy. <laughs> Didn't you have a development deal with one of the big networks? Yeah, I had a Fox uh, development deal. It was pretty, it was pretty awesome, man, because uh, if you don't get a show on the air, you get to keep the money. They don't recoup it. So nice. It was actually nice. But you almost hoped it doesn't get on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, plus, you know, I, if I would have gotten the air, that would have been a bad uh, a bad way to, for me to be seen by the public. You know, really? Acting, acting? Yeah, man. Are you not an actor? I tried it, but it's, it's not it's not going that well. Where did you try it? What did you do? Um, you know, I had, like, big parts on, like, uh, that Saturday show, and uh, I had a small scene in uh, Almost Famous. Did you have to audition for those parts? You know, I did, actually. Yeah. I did. So you must have done pretty good. Yeah, you passed the audition. Yeah, yeah, I think I think I had, like, a good moment, you know, and then, then I just couldn't carry it. It disappeared. <laughs> you know what you need? What? Guy of your abilities? What? A giant limo. <laughs> yeah, I can tell you one. Yeah, he told me, man. He said, he said 180 grand. Yeah. <laughs> did you fix you right up? Yeah, so Mitch is a big deal comedian. Yeah. And you're kind of a wild guy. Yeah, man. I, I know, know you work with Artie sometimes. You make Artie look like a pike. <laughs> you know, Artie's always had his problems. Yeah. What was your problem? You got arrested with some heroin, right? No, well, you know, um, uh, just, just something, you know, I got arrested. My mom listens to this show. <laughs> well, she knows, doesn't she? She must have read the paper uh, we read. I lied to her, you know. Did you? Yeah. Uh, it, was it, was, it, was, it was mainly a uh, Xanax and uh, other things. Yeah, because your mom won't care about that. No, you know. it's prescription. Drugs. Your mom's probably on Xanax. Yeah. Right. yeah. So you're cool now, right? Yeah, I'm cool now. Yeah. <laughs> Things are good, man. You're not high right now, are you? No. I mean, how did we resolve it? Did we have to go away for a little while? Um, well, you know, uh, no, I actually, no, actually, I just got on some uh, probation and. Uh, oh, cool. cool. Yeah. I'm on probation. Are you? Yeah. yeah, with Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> he says he's not going to drive me anymore. That's right. How often do you have to beat? <laughs> How long have you been doing stand-up? About 15 years. Yeah, so... Sick of it, yeah? Uh, you know what? I love it, man. I love it. <laughs> I, I can't stop it. It's the coolest lifestyle. Yeah? I just bought a big RV, and that's my dream, you know, to be in a bus, you know? It's, right. it's almost a bus, but it's not cool. You're a married guy? Yeah, yeah. So, so your wife's out there, Yeah, Lydia, yeah. She's a comic, too? Yeah, she's a comic, man. We work together. Is uh, that right? That's gonna be annoying. <laughs> it's stuck in that bus together? Yeah, she made me cry this morning. So. <laughs> Why is that? Because she thought I was going to be late, so she got mad. Uh-oh. Right. And she can reduce you to tears. Yeah, man, I was, well, you know, I was I was nervous about coming here, so I had some emotional problems. <laughs> Where are you from? You sound like Elvis, you know. <laughs> yeah, sure. no, no, I'm from Memphis. Are I'm you really? No, I'm not from Minnesota. Where are you from? Minnesota, Minnesota. Yeah, yes. you got a little of that whole attitude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, Elvis, that's cool. Yeah, you got the Elvis thing going. <laughs> so what's the game plan? Do the stand-up. You want to get another, you don't want to do the sitcom thing. No, I don't How think old sitcom. are you? I'm, uh, I'm uh, 36. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, I, I want to, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> I just I like it. I like it. That's all there is. Is he living in that RV? <laughs> well, yeah. Not here in Manhattan. I, I don't even know if you can bring it in Manhattan. Yeah. I left it over in New Jersey. But, uh, you, put, you parked your, your RV in, in Jersey yeah, and then you came into Manhattan. Yeah, they, they, I parked it at a hotel and they made me pay for a room night. So cool. 160 bucks to park the RV. Are you making good money as a stand-up? Yeah, it's oh, gotten yeah. good. Man. Wealthy guy. Right? Yeah, but, but you know what? It took a long time. I mean, like 10 years of, wow. of hell. Yeah, but you're not going to do anything like Last Comic Standing. Well, you know, uh, I uh, the 
one of the prizes for that was a half hour special and I already had one, so I just guess it. Uh, yeah, you've done it all. Yeah. Well, no, not at all. Man. I want an HBO special. All right. Oh, well, you can get to get one of those. You got, you got a full door at HBO? I do. I could get you one. Because I really need one. I know those guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He knows everybody. <laughs> I know all the people, Joe. <laughs> you know, you, you, you guys asking me about stories for the show, man. I'm such a bad storyteller, so I hope, I'm, I hope it's cool that you see it here. No, sit here, let you, you have the feelings about the news and things that go on. Sorry, sure, man. What does yeah. he talk about in his act? Is he into, I'm, like, uh... That's my problem. See, yeah, I started, like, writing jokes shorter and shorter, so, you know, being a storyteller became harder and harder. Uh, see, I like short jokes. I don't like to sit through a whole long... I don't want to like hear your life story. Set up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I got <laughs> better things to do. <laughs> I'm busy. Yeah, I, I keep it quick. Yeah, that's good. I like that. So, uh, have you ever done, like, a one-word joke? Have you ever gotten everything down? <laughs> have you gotten it down to that? <laughs> yeah, can you do that? Like, well, you know, you can swear and be a laugh, I suppose. I see you're a funny guy. There's no question. <laughs> now, has he done the Tonight Show? Or I actually know, but uh, I've done that Letterman many times. Uh-huh. I'm doing Conan tonight, actually. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so that's happening. Jimmy Kimmel, you know. Oh, Jimmy's a good guy. Yeah, he's a great guy. Oh, you're going to... I'm telling you, I feel like you're going to burst on the scene or something. Uh, Any time now. Like, you're percolating. <laughs> right yeah. There. That's the, yeah. <laughs> Well, you got kids or something? No, no, no. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta wait. God, right? yeah, exactly. I gotta wait so I can deal with that. And, and the sex with your wife is still good? Yes, absolutely. How long you been together? Ah, uh, five years. She's Canadian, so I met her in Montreal Comedy Festival. Hot chick puts out? Yeah. Yeah, she's yeah. really sweet, man. That's cool. I love her. That's right. Well, that's good. Good for you. Thanks, Howard. Well, you know, uh, here it says here in your bio, you reportedly spent two and a half days in prison. Oh, yeah, I did. I six did. weeks in the well, hospital after the arrest. Prison was, uh, you know, it's, a, it's jail, you know. Right. right, you don't go to prison for two and a half weeks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Two and a half days in prison would be ridiculous. But two and a half weeks of j- uh, hospitalization? What is that? Well, I, was, I, had, I had a leg uh, uh, injury in my leg, so I had to have that repaired. So the comedy room, oh, I know a lot of guys who are big fans of yours. Oh, yeah? They say you had your leg removed. <laughs> is that what's going on? Yeah, they took it off and checked it out, and they put it back on. No, they said you got gangrene. No, I didn't actually. That's like, that's like kind of a hearsay. Is know? it a real leg that you have now? Yeah, I got a real leg. Yeah. I limp a little, but I, I, I got a real leg. It's cool. It, they prepared it. See, it now... Let me I, kick you in your leg. <laughs> you know, that would hurt. <laughs> <laughs> but like when I was in jail, they took me to the hospital, and uh, those doctors, I don't think they care about jail dudes, because they said, we, we got to cut it off. <laughs> really? They were going to cut your leg off? Yeah, that's what they said. They said, there's no choice. So I said, I need a second opinion. So I, I what, what, what was it? You went to jail, and you had a bad leg. Yeah, I had a what bad... What were you in jail for? I was uh, for the arrest... Uh, at the Boston airport for Xanax and stuff. So. And you mean the two days you were there, they were ready to cut your leg off? What was wrong with your leg? Because there was, a, there was a, I had a big, a kind of a wound that festered. I didn't take care of the wound, you know, so I, How did you get wounded? This is, I, I just, like, I fell off my bike and oh my. it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to get some training wheels on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, it's very confusing. But let, let's hang out. Let's do a little news. All right. And Mitch's album is uh, called Mitch All Together, available in stores now. You've sold over 60,000 copies, it said. Yeah, which, you know, if you're Van Halen, that's a depressing figure. But <laughs> if you're Mitch Hedberg, that's a big deal. Yeah, exactly. All right, so and then you even have one of these websites. You have MitchHedberg.net. Yeah, dot com got stolen by some girl. Somebody took your name. Yeah, I think that's so and, and, and Did you try to buy it from her? Yeah, they, they wanted a ridiculous amount of money. So. How much? Ten grand? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, so crazy. you went dot net, but I'll, t- I'll show you. I went dot net. <laughs> I'm going to go dot org. I'll teach you a lesson. <laughs> no one will find my website. <laughs> <laughs> no one will find it. <laughs> <laughs> Every time someone goes to my website, they'll never find me. <laughs> How come you still have the long hair? I mean, uh, you know, I just can't. Um, it's gotten shorter. It used to be real long. You know? did, did, does it hold you back from getting so many shows? Um, yeah. Well, then again, you know, they always say, hey, you should be like a, a dude in a record store. So it kind of helps, dude. You know? Right, yeah, for parts. Yeah. All right. Are you allowed to do other women in your marriage? <laughs> sure. Yeah? Yeah, the RV is loaded with ladies in Jersey right now. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for me to come back and unlock them. Wendy the retard. Howard. Yes. I went to the O-Rock Mississippi this Sunday night, and I was the judge, and I judged women in bikini, and the, I, uh, aunt, what, the one in the blue in the bikini won. What is she talking about? Wendy the retard appears to have judged some sort of bikini contest. I feel like blowing my mind up. Yes. It, it appears that she was Is this invited. like a personal appearance or something? Yeah, like a radio station thing. Yes. So I guess they wanted her down oh, there. Oh, okay. All right, well, that's good, Wendy. We're thrilled. And I just want to let you know that I made I mean, one of the hottest chick ones for you. Oh, thank you. 
I, I don't know. I didn't follow that I one think she all. did it for you. I she... did it for you, Howard. Hey, isn't it true the comedian Mitch Hedberg raped you? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and when he raped you, it hurt? Yes. And now he's up on charges? Yes. And you said he had a fake leg? Yes. <laughs> all right, okay. I raped you with the pig leg. <laughs> right. Did he rape you with his peg leg? Yes. He did? It hurt? Yes. And you no, wanted to get it? wasn't yes. raped. He just said no. <laughs> yes. And then he forced you to take heroin? Yes. Yeah, on Xanax? Yes. Xanax right. and heroin. Well, boy, you've got some pen. All right, thank you, Wendy. There it is. Hey, man, when people see me now, they stare at my leg because they think it's fake. How'd you? Let me see. What? Let me see if it's real. No, it's real, man. Both my legs are real, so check it out. All right. But I mean, how can you like see if the legs fake but you're looking at it in pants, you know? It's like, what, they got x ray vision? You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird, I've never had that rumor. Stern has a fake leg. Yeah, nobody ever said well, that. Well, this show is certainly not going to help the rumor. It's not going to quell it. Well, you would uh, admit if you had a fake leg. What, yeah, what of course would you I would. Do? Yeah, but you know, that's what's the problem with people uh, spreading about rumors. Don't you think rumors suck, man? Well, wait a minute, you do have a bit of a limp, and you have yeah, the, have the a wound of... and but all that. See, if I had a fake leg, I probably wouldn't limp, because it would be good. Oh, okay. I, I would oil it up. <laughs> there you go. All right, Robin, what is in the news? This is your moment to shine. You have Mitch Hedberg here. And I'm reading about Oliver Stone today, and he says he had a very tough childhood because his parents split up early, and he was sent off to boarding schools. And he says he was never around girls. Mm. So when it was time to lose his virginity, his father took him to a prostitute. Boy, all these dads, man. My, I asked my dad if I could bang my mom, and he said no. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what about you, Mitch? What, I, I went to Tijuana, 15 bucks. 15 bucks, that's how you lost your virginity? Yeah, yeah. You paid for it the first time? No, I had my friend pay for it, but it was cheap. Oh, so then that's fine. Cheap, cheap. Oh, it was a present. Yeah, it was, it was a <laughs> gift, yeah. <laughs> well, um, you, how would you feel if your father had done that? You'd feel, you know. What, if my father let me get laid? Yeah. He took me to get laid? Uh-huh. At least it would have been some sort of interaction with one another. <laughs> yeah. The bonding. Yeah. Because, um... This is some brewery. Oliver says, my father was a generous man and I love him to this day for it. <laughs> he says, there's a great tradition of that and I believe for me it was great. So he actually recommends it. You know, I gotta admit, I think it's kind of creepy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I don't even dang what, is he like... waiting outside the door while you, uh... Yeah, my fa knowing my father would have been like, you did a horrible job with that whore. How <laughs> what? You didn't even know what to do. <laughs> but I never did it before, Dad. I thought you just said you, you will never satisfy a woman. <laughs> you took two seconds. <laughs> Let me show you how it's done. Yeah. So, yeah. I think it's creepy. I went to see Barbarella with my dad, which was this movie with Jane Fonda. Oh, yeah. And she had clear plastic bubbles over her boobs and stuff. And I remember sitting there thinking, this is creepy. I think my dad's aroused. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to be around my dad around anything sexual. I know, seeing a film with your parents when you were young and they had sex scenes right. was awful, man. I, my parents took me to see Hair, and it was like the first all-nude play. Right, right, yeah. And they all take off their clothes, and I'm like, oh, no. Well, I don't want to look at my dad's lap, but I bet you he's, I bet you he's like a rocket down there. But I looked over, and I was like, I think I see something. Oh, no. I mean, who wants to do that? I don't know. Now, what does everybody else just stare straight forward? Nobody makes any eye contact. <laughs> We're real comfortable my dad taking me to get laid. <laughs> I told you to work up rest. <laughs> Sit down. That's something to do with a stepdad, maybe. You know what? The one thing I enjoy is sex, and I'm sure he, he would have made me not enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It would have ruined it for me. Yeah, I'm not to be stupid, you moron. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Did you ever uh, get a famous chick? Uh, no, actually, no. Um, I think uh, Moon Zappa liked me for like a minute. Is that the boy or the girl? The That's girl. the girl. The girl moves up. I don't know how much. Moon unit. Moon unit. She was. She but you didn't do her? Nope. Nope. See, that's the thing, man. I was scared of come on because I don't have a lot of good stories like that. But don't feel bad. Right. I want to thank Mitch Hedberg. I enjoyed having you. Oh, I had a great time. Oh, it was nice. Shoot, it's great. Thank you. We got to welcome oh, back. Oh, it was a pleasure. Congratulations on the uh, serious deal. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. And Mitch, congratulations on your album. Uh, all, Mitch all together. Yes, yeah, right, stores. 60,000 strong. And uh, listen, MitchHedberg.net. Yeah, man. Dot net. <laughs> dot net. <laughs> the chicken wants to 10 grand for dot com. <laughs> All right, man. I, I appreciate you having me. I really do. Good seeing you. I don't know what happened with uh, Christy Brinkley. I think we had a scheduling uh, Oh, yeah? Was she was supposed to be here. She was supposed to be here. But... Yeah, we weren't supposed to have you on. Oh, that would have been all right. I would have dealt with She was supposed to walk in. You showed up. Mitch, how's it going there, man? Hey, it was actually... Uh, Better than I thought, you know. Yeah, you're all nervous, but it, it turned out all right. Yeah, yeah, I had a good time. It was, it was relaxing. The, the couch is very comfortable. <laughs> Most radio stations don't 
have some comfortable furniture. Nice. But, uh, yeah, I, mean, I hope we, I can go back again. I'll be even uh, more ready. Yeah, I was even doing so. Yeah. That's cool. Today's hair look good. Yeah, it looks I didn't great. Know it was that that studio is actually very comfortable. And I, I was, it's all dark and nice. Some radio stations yeah, are yeah, like, he's got a maid in there. He's got the best setup ever. Yeah. So, anyway. Cool.
with, with now, my... wait a minute. In the toilet. <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> you, can't, you know what? The toilet has a bad reflection. <laughs> so, so really, you'll, you'll go to the bathroom and take it with your cell phone or something? Well, yeah, yeah. I, did. Uh, I mean, I, what are those cell phone cameras good for anyway, right? I mean, yeah. seriously, what do you do with that? No, so I met my girlfriend. <laughs> you took a picture of your poo? I my poo and I showed it to her. She loved it. Really? No. Mm. But, I mean, that's a little hardcore for me. I don't like to think of my women going to the bathroom. They say your friends are shocked by how much comes out of you. Well, I think that they just think that I, I, I poo puppies. Right. And, like, flowers. Right. Do you eat a lot? I mean, you're, how much do you weigh? Like, 110, I'd say, maybe 100? Yeah, like, what? I'm usually around 108. How tall are you? 5'6". That's nice. 108, 5'6". That's the right way. Perfect. Good for you. Perfect. Good for you. It's the right way, Rob. I, I hear you, Howard. <laughs> um, so this swimsuit DVD you hosted, and you run around in a bikini. Yeah, I was, I mean, yeah, I was running around in a bikini, but I, I mean, the girls on the DVD are, like, super hot. Who are, who are the girls? Do we know them? Um, some, well, there's this girl, Shakara. The um, singer? You know Shakara? Yeah, the singer. Shakira. No, that's Shakira. Yeah, that's Shakira. Oh, who's Shakira? Shakira. 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 The basketball player? I don't player? know. I guess maybe you don't. I mean, they're models. I guess if you... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Models, models I don't are. know. And the models are in bikinis or they're naked? Yeah, they're in bikinis, but they're also sometimes... You know, you see a little bit here and there. And do we get to see their duty or uh, just yours? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, you don't have to, you don't get to see, yeah, I, maybe, uh, nobody gets to see my ju duty except for Mike Gargiulo, actually, and his girlfriend. And, and then it's a sexually a pretty wild. Um, You've done threesomes? Yeah, just once. I only ever had one yeah. once. I think I would do it again, but I, not in, oh, yeah. not with a boyfriend. I don't ever think it works. Well, explain this to me. It says you have a crush on me and you would definitely have sex with me. But you would not date me. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I wouldn't want to date you because I think you're cool. Like, I would never want it to get romantic between us because that would Why? just get weird. Because I, I, I like you too much. I wouldn't I wouldn't want us... Because, you know, it, never, it. It, get, it would ruin it. We would get, you know, eventually we get into a fight and then there, who's going to get this and who's going to get... And then you break my heart and then we never talk again. And I. So you're saying you would have a relationship with me that would be purely sexual. We could hang out, we could be friends. Yeah. We could watch movies and things together and discuss the day's events. And then have sex, but never be exclusive with one another. Um, yeah, I guess so, sure. That it's, would be the parameters? That would be like a friend with benefit. Yeah, yeah. I would sign up for that. Yeah. I would sign up for that. I just think you're too much man for one woman to hang on to. You know, I agree. <laughs> So how can I take you up on this? Let's say I uh, let's say I can want to have sex with you. Well, how, you'd have to be single. I know. Yeah. Okay. All right. And, and then I could call you and then ask for my sex. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just right. call me up. Can I have my sex now? I'm ready you... for my sex now. Yeah, I've got coupons in my purse in the green room. But now seeing me here live in the per in person, do you feel maybe you don't want to have sex with me? Has your opinion changed? No, no. You still feel good about it. Yeah, yeah. All right, good. All right. Well, that's great. I have to think about that. <laughs> I really do. Really? You, you would have sex with me? Oh, in a flash. You would ride the Perry train? Oh, I'd ride the Perry train Ooh. hard and fast. <laughs> there ain't a guy in his room who wouldn't do that, sweetheart. Yeah, I mean, you look good. I mean, come on, yeah. I'm when did you have sex with a chick? Uh, you know, I was in college. It was like a long time ago. What college? I went to York University in Toronto. Okay, and, and you were just hanging out with some friends and something transpired? Yeah. What do you mean? Were you drinking? Were you doing pot? Were you doing hash? Lewis? No, no, we were just, we were just drinking. Yeah. There, I don't even remember what we were drinking. And you were with a friend? Was she hot too, like you? Oh, yeah. Very hot. Yeah. She's tall, beautiful. I, yeah. She would probably be horrified that I'm talking about this right now. We don't know who she is. Exactly. All right. And, and who was the dude? Was it her boyfriend? No, no. He was just another friend of ours. Wow. And, and, and what, you were drinking and, like, everyone was in their underwear? I mean, how does it, how does it, how does it get started? I think we went skinny dipping. And, uh... Where'd you go skinny dipping? Well, they... They're, so who's, I don't even remember whose place we were at, but there was, like, a complex and there was, like, a, a pool. Right. And so we all went in skinny dipping in the pool, and then I think we got kicked out, and I think... I'm trying to remember if we actually went skinny dipping. So you're not uptight about your body. I mean, everyone seeing you naked was no big deal. Um, it depends. It depends how I'm feeling in, in the moment. Right. Are you totally shaved? No. I'm, I have, like, I like to keep a little. A little, all right. There's a little. So you go skinny dipping, so everyone sees each other naked and you're drunk. And then how does it happen to get romantic? It, it didn't get romantic, it just got sexual. How did it get sexual? Um, it, I don't, you know.
know what? I don't even remember. I don't, I think we were, you know, I'm trying to remember if maybe we had both had sex with the guy individually. Right. And then decided. But making the lesbian move is interesting. Like you go, oh, you look good. No, you look good. Oh, let me see what it'd be like to kiss another girl. It just kind of, it just kind of happened. I, I remember every detail of that. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I think I blocked it out because I, I'm not, I wasn't as good at it as I wanted to be. Right. I totally thought I was going to be decent. I'm like, you mean what? giving a woman oral? You thought you'd be good at it I'm because, a... because you're a woman, you should know what another woman wants. Yeah. I mean, you were bad at it. And I, I think I was bad at it. Because she stopped you and said it's not that great. She didn't stop me. I was just like, uh, you weren't getting the reaction. <laughs> I didn't want it or what. <laughs> It was weird. It's, I don't know. I'll teach you how to do it. Yeah, I might need to learn. Yeah. I could take a course on that. I don't yeah. know what I would do with it because I'm not actually gay. I wish I was gay. Oh, you're gay. Am I gay? Oh, I can tell. When really? You, yeah, when you give oral to another woman, I mean, you're gay. Come on. You have gay tendencies. Well, I think I, yeah, I think everybody does, though. <laughs> no, well, you would don't. because you have them. <laughs> well, Marty, let me practice my oral on you. <laughs> Doesn't that sound kind of gay to you? <laughs> Who's high, bitch? That would be high. <laughs> would you do that? What, no. on Artie? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, do it, we've kidding? done it, and we admit we're gay. <laughs> Thank you. So... And you only did it that once. Yeah. And then you did the guy, the both of you did the guy? Yeah, she. I think she may have watched me, you got a and then I watched her. No, not no. I don't. You don't. No. Oh, that's good. When's the last time you had sex? <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Um, really? Yeah, I'm trying to think. It's been. I mean, it's definitely been like a probably a couple months. Wow. Yeah. How do girls do that? If I was a hot chick, I'd just go out and get some sex. So, I mean, you could have, I mean, this chick could have sex five times today if she wanted to, right? Right. Just to say, hey, I'm Five? Right. Uh, you're, you're holding her back. Well, there's only a certain amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta eat too, Rob. <laughs> like, Julian Barbary was on the air with us, and she goes, you know, I haven't had sex in a really long time. And I'm like, well, what? Do you have a vibrator? It ain't your idiots. It's your fault. No. You got a little vibrator? What, you got the pocket rocket? I, I've... Sounds just like that. Yeah. Yes, it does. You like that. Yeah, you know, I'm not, I'm not a big vibrator person. I'm a small vibrator person. <laughs> um, no, no, I'm a, I, I, you know, I tried them all. I tried the things with the remote controls and whatever. You Has know. a guy ever used them on you? Robin's reading the news. Robin's oh, I'm listening. I no, can no, do both. She gets embarrassed. She's what am I funny. embarrassed she's about? She, she doesn't get the whole hot chick thing. It's just What funny. are you talking about? You don't like I'm when listening, I talk to but chicks. I have to prepare the news. Oh, please. The news every minute. Let's get in here and tell her about your vibrator. Here's the news. Rachel Perry uses a vibrator. <laughs> Headline. I've chimed in. I know exactly what you just said. Who doesn't use a vibrator, though, really? Me. I use I, it. I use it sometimes, but even when I have it, sometimes I prefer just to... And what about your rear end? Is there any fun going on back there? <laughs> yeah. How about that? Uh, not. The, the, the yes. fun zone. Do you, do you ever have any fun back there? Uh, I have been known to experiment in... Really? not <laughs> rectal regions really yes wow me too <laughs> you know have you ever been on an anal cruise <laughs> frankly isn't it i mean doesn't everybody do that now like is it robin like, does ooh. oh here we go you love it she I gets so hot she didn't know what anything. happened anything she really? loves it you yeah. don't <laughs> no she does she's a player what don't you I'm like about you. anal i don't understand i know guys who are married to women who won't let them go there i don't understand like how i mean if you want i don't understand why they wouldn't yeah women demand it <laughs> i know a lot of broads who don't let you do that i mean all right it's i heard you have to actually get going but but where are you off to that you're in such a rush um i don't know i've i have i don't know i gotta what's on your schedule today i gotta go to this uh in-store signing yeah thing. but not till uh Noon. She's got a photo shoot in the bathroom later. I don't know. They've set up this whole thing for me, Maxim. They have me doing publicity for we'll Take a few phone calls first. Oh, okay. Steve, you're on the air. Hello, Howard. Yes, Steve. Oh, hi, Howard. Um, I just want to say I'm actually a, a, a subscriber to Playboy, and she totally blows away every other girl at the uh, issue this uh, past month. You know, I'm not a big fan of seeing, you know, now, as we all know, Playboy is sometimes a little bit too soft anyway, but she, just the sexiness of her picture, I think, blows away any girl I've seen in Playboy in the three years I've been a subscriber. <laughs> wow. Thank you. No, it doesn't go that far already. 
but um, I could have sex today. We were gonna ask if you would get a bikini because a lot of women that come here do get a bikini. <laughs> and uh, Julia <laughs> Roberts said, <laughs> Why would you laugh for that? Sharon Stone, stop it, don't laugh. Really? Yeah. Two, don't two laugh, biggest though. stars that ever did in here were Sharon Stone and Julia Roberts. Got to do a bikini. I, Thank you. No way. Yep. Julia Roberts did it to promote Aaron Brockovich. Yeah. And she, she was even an Academy Award. Thank you. Here, come on, Rachel, put it in the bikini. You're my girlfriend. I'm here. No, I told you we're not. Uh, that's no, right. I won't date I'm you. having sex with you. Let me see what I'm getting. <laughs> yeah, like I, I'll have sex. Put on oh, that. Yeah, yeah, because I wear that every day. But you said you're in a bikini on this DVD, you know, right? Yeah, but not a thong. It's not a thong. Not a thong. That is. That, that is not a thong. Not, we're not where we come from. It's called wide back. Would you wear it? I would. <laughs> you would wear it? Yes, you would. Bridget Nielsen wore that. Come on. <laughs> Bridget Nielsen, throw it. are clean bikinis, too. Flavor, oh, flavor. Flav, okay. You have an entire yeah, inventory. You, there's an entire. Did you even know there's an entire closet <laughs> of bikinis? And they're labeled small, medium, large, and Hurry up and get it one. We don't, no, we don't like using the large. Bikini. Gary. It'll, it, but it'll translate so well. Your the bar fans will love you after this, and it'll it'll be on. People will see you and see how beautiful you are. I mean, listen, you're hot. It's not like Nikki Searing did this, and her film opened up number twenty one at the box office. Lindsay <laughs> Lohan did it three weeks ago on the show. But you want to get in the tickle chair? You can only get in the tickle chair in a bikini. <laughs> Wait, right, no, no, no. That's that, you know what? That's not true because there is pictures in the green room of somebody in the tickle chair. That was old. That's old school. Oh, that was old rules. That was Haley Joel Osment. <laughs> That was kind of messy. What are those two tattoos you have on your hips? Um, Let me see those. You want to see them? Yeah. I'll show yeah. you. My, I'll show you my tattoos. Okay. Pick that long schmanda off. Let me see your uh, tattoo. Oh, Man. nice spot. Fire from below. Boy, that's major. Oh, she's got something on her back too. What do you got on your back? Whoa. Oh, major. Oh, you're a hardcore player. Major. Oh. Those are huge tattoos. Wow. Sexy Howard, though. Wild. I'm telling you. Would Rachel put on this outfit, Howard? Put on a schoolgirl outfit. <laughs> put on the schoolgirl outfit. Perfect. That's perfect. perfect for you. Oh, come right, on. Put on a schoolgirl outfit. Do me a favor. You know what? That actually, you know what? I actually wouldn't be averse to putting yeah, on a schoolgirl outfit. Yeah, but what time is it? I, I have to be, go. No, no, no. They just said you got two minutes. They said you, they said two minutes. They said, I don't, said you could stay till 10 off. They did. Really? Yeah. yeah. And you're wasting time. What, what, the, what am I going to put? What am I getting out of putting on a schoolgirl outfit? Don't be embarrassed. No, no, no. No, no. no come on. No, no. I'm not on. It's just fun. Really? Yeah. Well, you were in Dirty Work, so... You like Dirty Work? I have the DVD. Oh. Oh, she's the one. I owe you 20 bucks. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Joe, you're yep. on there. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, Joe. Hey. 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 Come on. Uh, I just wanted to know, first of all, I thought Rachel was married. Second of all, um, I used to love her cute little crooked nose, and it really looked straight and played away. I just wondered if she got it done. No, no, I didn't. You didn't get a nose job? No, look at my nose. Is it? Look yeah, it's I, crooked I, here. I look different from each side. Now you got it fixed a little bit, didn't no, you? No, I did. Not a chin. Why would I do that? I love my nose. You look different. I don't know. I really paid attention to Are you married? Married? And I really saw you in Playboy, and it looked sick. It you really looked straight. Yeah, I also looked, like, She's way naked. skinnier, and there was no lines under my eyes. No, she's not naked in Playboy. She, she, the way she was showing you the tattoos, that's what's a Playboy. Yeah. You ticklish? Um, I don't know. I don't remember. Can you schoolgirl off and I'll tickle you? <laughs> <laughs> you can tickle me when out of my school girl. Yeah, for the last call, she's got Arturo Gotti's nose. It's still crooked. Look at that thing. Yeah. What happened? Did your nose get broken or something? I don't know. I that's got... cute. How are you to criticize her? I'm saying it's cute. I'm not saying it's not cute. I'm just saying that something happened where it's crooked. Oh. Yes, Vinny, you're on the air. Go ahead. <laughs> Howard, did you know about all the web traffic that's going on right now? Did you tell her? Okay, you're not going to believe this, Rachel. There's right now, there's about a million people on the bulletin board that are saying if you get the bikini, they will buy your DVD. If Howard links from his website, so they link it right to Amazon. Wow. But if they buy the DVD, then they'll get to see me in a bikini anyway. But you want, they will they like it better here. Plus, yeah. plus, we'll be telling them what they're going to see is amazing. They will, Howard will drive them straight to the link to buy the DVD. They'll see the click on your picture and it'll take them to the DVD. Wow. 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 <laughs> wow. That's you know, good. I, I don't know. It's I a kinda... million DVDs. So. Yeah, when your tech guy just called, he said the, com the computer's like a fritzing out. You got to do this because there's like so many people up there right now. You get money for... You get back in money in a DVD, No, no man, I wish. Did. See, maybe if I did. Hey, Maxim, you gonna give me some back end money on that That's DVD? That's what I think's gonna happen. Show you're some gonna, back end. You gotta get someone from Maxim to call in here. No, 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 listen. You'll say, get it on the next DVD. DVD. I'll get it on the next DVD. <laughs> <laughs> you get it on the first. It's like friends. Listen. <laughs> 
that's true. It's like the friend. The buddy wants to get under a bridge. <laughs> All right, thank you, Vinny. All right, I can see you're not a player. I can see you don't want to get in a bikini. But I think the school girl offer would have been the right move. See, I, I, maybe I, next time. Maybe next time. I heard she's a player. I think you know what you know what you need to make her a player? Alcohol. I heard when she goes out for parties, it's a whole different thing. Yeah, next time you're coming into drinking. Would you make a note to hire like Rachel from one of our big shows where it's the afternoon, we can get her loaded, and when she passes out, we'll put the bikini on. <laughs> She'll you, wake you, up you and can... she won't know how we got those pictures. Yeah, you know, you know how we can see her naked? We'll bring her to Vegas next year. Right. No, I, you know, seriously, you, pr you ply me with enough liquor, I probably, you know. Well, according to what you say here, if I get single, I'm going to be seeing you naked. Yeah. Yeah, we'll I mean, each not, other naked. Yeah, but it's not gonna be. I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, unless we're keeping our clothes on while we do it. I don't know. That could be interesting too. Yeah, but you I have will sex call you. Hole in the sheet. I will call you the second if it ever happens that I get single. Yeah, she's you top of the that. list. She just vaulted to the you very top. Vaulted to the top of the list. Am I really? I'm number one now. Number one. You come on over. <laughs> you moved right above Hillary Duff. Yes. Really? <laughs> Hello, Rachel. Guess what? I'm single. Come on over for your sex. You're ready for your sex. All right. It's a delight meeting you. You're very beautiful. Hi. No, not today. It's early. It's too early for that much skin. Okay, so the next time you come over. Yeah, yeah. Give me in the afternoon. You know, give me, give me, you know, give me a couple drinks or something in the green room. Maybe a bagel. I don't know. Then you'll do it? Maybe. Something like that. Awesome. Really? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Look, yeah, I mean, he's he's exactly who he is on the radio, in person, on TV, in person. He's he's perfect. I, I, yeah, he's wonderful. So how is the attraction now? <clears throat> Better. Even more. Even more. Really? And you showed him some of your ring? Yeah, yeah. I showed him my tattoos. Yeah, that's perfect. Don't insult me. No, no, no. So you could have shown him in a bikini. I could have. You're right. I could have. Did you have a good time? I had a great time. Yeah. I, had a... I would love to. That would be great. One hot chicken wants dirty work. I love her. So I can talk to you. Wearing a belly shirt. What's up, You're all decked out. I'm doing fine. Anytime I hear of a star, let me put my shirt on. I'll give you some respect. I'm, I took it's my okay. shirt off. I, no, that's all right, baby. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, I'm not fronting. I think I saw you look down like that before. Well, I want to give. I, I want to turn you. you on. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Lady Saw has a brand new uh, CD out. It's called Strip Tease, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now, you, is this available in stores? Yes, no. Okay. I even notice right now you're wearing a bra where we can almost see your entire breast. Hmm. Why are you covering it up? Why are you covering up? No, it was covered before, but somehow I think your eyes just, wow. you know, pop it open like that, but everything, Chris. <laughs> what are you, Jamaican? Yes, I'm Jamaican. You got, you, you're a hard-working woman. Jamaicans work very hard. Yes, we do. How many jobs do you have besides rapping? I, I take care of the kids, the whole family. You got kids? No, I have dog tree. So I never three. give birth, but I adopt three. Yeah. Now, you are a hard-working woman. All Jamaicans are hard-working. Mm -hmm. I grew up in a black community. I understand the Jamaican mentality. Mm -hmm. Believe me. You know I grew up in Roosevelt, Long Island. <laughs> no, that's not Jamaica. No, that's not Jamaica. No, that's where the blacks live. People work. There used to be a big war between the Jamaicans and the American blacks because mm -hmm. Jamaicans don't consider themselves, they don't want to be mixed in with the American blacks. Am I mm -hmm. correct? I don't know. I'm mixed with anybody, any 
foundation. I'm like, you like it all? Yeah. Let me uh, let me th- make this clear. The reason I'm fascinated with you, right? During your live show, mm-hmm. guys can feel you up and um, and uh, hump you and stuff. Oh lord, it depends on the mood I'm in. Like, I may say, touch it. You know, don't be afraid. It won't bite. Right. You know, and yes, bite. I bring guys on stage and demonstrate, like, um, pretend as if you know we work in. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But so, are you? Um, I mean, when you say touch it, what do you say? Like, touch it. You know, it's, it's, you, you don't have to be scared, you know? Wow. Yeah. Are you but it's, high you're not when actually you, are, are touching you, the skin. Are you, are you high when no, you No, I this? never get high. People ask me, do you have a button you turn before you go on stage? Because Marion is different from Lady Saw. But Lady Saw is a businesswoman. When I go on stage, I make sure that everybody leaves feeling good or some controversy surrounded. So, I'm all you know? for it. I'm yeah. telling you the you, reason you you're be here. You talking after walking yeah. out of a show, right? Of course. I, and it caused a lot of controversy all the time. I remember as a kid, uh, one of the first concerts I ever saw was Emerson Lake and Palmer. You weren't even allowed to grab these guys' package. <laughs> Uh, nothing. Right, nothing. Yeah. You couldn't get close to him. I couldn't. And you're saying you mix it up with the fans in that way. Yeah, I, I mingle with my fans. I'm touchable. So you're a fine-looking black woman who allows these men to touch you and mix it up with you if you're in the right mood. Yeah. Wow. But we, as fans, we have to wait to go up on stage and fill you up until you give us the word, right? If I can't. see you in my audience, I'll definitely bring you on stage. Trust me. Really? Of course. And your boobies are out when you perform, or are they in the No, bra? but I remember one time they fell out and I didn't even know. And I saw a lot of men getting crazy over in the bombers. And I'm like, what's wrong with you guys? He's like, I want you. I'm like, what? And so then the promoter was saying, please tell her no more striptease. But I wasn't stripping. The thing fell off well, and I, I didn't even because know. Because you're a very physical performer. You know, Dance, yes, yeah, yes. I'm very energetic on stage. Wow. Now, can a guy uh, use his hands uh, d- d- below your waist when he's on stage with you? Yeah. <laughs> he can. Yeah, if I allow him. Wow. And sometimes I tease. Wow. Well, can, I applaud this. I wish we had some video. Can, can you? you uh, I got my girls outside my now, crew. Who, who are those girls? Those are some bad Jamaican who sh- you, they can demonstrate and they're sexy. I know you like pretty sexy girl, flat belly. I'm trying to trade mine with theirs because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm kind of lazy. Well, uh, you look out. good. Don't, you don't have to worry about it. Where's her crew? Three <clears throat> sexy girls out there. I bring Treat. them for they a They perform with you on stage? Yeah, yeah. They're a gift for you. Black chicks know how to move. They'll break it if you're <laughs> careful. I swear to God they would. <laughs> you ever let a black chick on top of you? They'll break it. Lady Saw's new album is called Strip Tease. Mm. It's available in stores She's about now. About to go on tour. Mm. About to go on tour, and I bring her to your attention because this is the kind of artist we like to support. Mm-hmm. She gets she gets interactive. Interactive. She knows how to mix it up with the audience. There you want to touch her? She let you touch oh, her. Oh yeah. And if you want Lady Saw's tour dates, you go to LadySaw.net. Or VP Records, they have it there. VP Records dot com. I need to travel with a bunch of hotties, huh? Yeah, they're hot there, man. You need to, you know. Wait, well, let me see. Let me take a quick look at them. Quick look. Bring my queen scene. This is what I'm say. Get in here. Monday, come on, come on, Tamika. Yeah. They sing good, these chicks? Yeah, they're singling sexy, hot. No, I say they sing good. Oh, hey, girls. You see, she's working that waistline for you. Hey, yeah. baby. Jamaica thing. That's how we roll out in Jamaica. You all Jamaican? Yes. <laughs> you are some hot Jamaican wenches. I'll tell you that. I like it. <laughs> oh, I like you black chicks. <laughs> that's my thing. I bet you do. <laughs> I bet you I couldn't handle you. That's I bet you can't. I bet you I can is right. Because <laughs> they're trained by me. Let's find oh, out. God. Are you wild in bed? <laughs> the smile tells all. Black, black chicks know how to move. They'll break it. Be <laughs> careful. Pretty I much. swear to God they would. <laughs> you ever let a black chick on top of you? They'll break it. Oh, is that right? It will be a wrap. A lot of white guys can't handle this kind of They'll break I loved, it. I you love got, that's my favorite position on top. I <laughs> like crazy. Well, I just want to say that. Girls, you got uh, hot bodies and stuff. Uh, you, you got boyfriends? Yeah. You all do? I don't. You don't? I'm letting the public know I don't. What is your name? Tanika. You're my type. <laughs> now, they don't sound Jamaican. No, we're trying to... She, she, they've been living here long. I don't live here. Uh, 
So I can still chat like Pat Mara right same way. You know, but they've been living here all their life. They've like, forgotten everything. Yeah, I've been here since I was four. Yeah, so. I've been yeah. here You're my type, I'll tell you what. You get the, you, you take your hair, you straighten it. I like that look. <laughs> I do, I like it. I like uh, your dark skin. With my white skin, we would look good. Yeah. And then uh, I like your belly. It's nice and flat. And you look at that ass. Yeah. You like that ass. Yeah. I know I couldn't handle it. That's perfect. Three perfect. seconds I'd last with you. <laughs> How old a girl are you, Tanika? I'm old enough. Are you over 18? Yes, way over 18. I'm lucky. That's what I date. <laughs> mm. You do white guys or are you into black men? Well, it doesn't matter. I don't see color. Me neither. <laughs> well, I see color and I like it. <laughs> well, anyway, you girls are hot, and I wish you like. Are you girls? Do you interact with the audience as well? Do we get to touch you girls if uh, if uh, we're on stage? Dancers, we show them how to do everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know, you don't start letting guys touch you and stuff on stage. Do you? <laughs> you just slap this one. Yeah. Just slap this one. Right. She see us dance. Well, yeah. Just in here. Can we make out with you guys? <laughs> no. no. Can we get naked with you and have sex with you right now? We don't, we don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. That's too bad. Here, you dance to this for a second. Let me just see how you dance. I'll play a little bit of this. Mm. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to turn off the microphone now, and we're going to have some sex. <laughs> Crazy up in here, up in this mall. When's the ne when's the next big show? So guys can get their hands on your thing. Oh, so. Monopolis on the 28th. Uh, we going to where are we going? One of them big things in uh, one of these. Go to the website. Sorry. Uh, Lady Saw can't remember. Lady Saw.net or VP Records. Africa. I know I can remember that because they're giving me some injections. Right. Yeah, London. I have the tour for all over the U.S. So you'll find me somewhere from the 28th. All right, baby. Good luck to you. And we'll be back right after these Thank words. You. So, what do you, you think of how Lady Saw? Oh, Howard is a nice man. I love him. He's not as tough as he, you know, I'm tougher. So you think you can take him? Yeah, I can take him. I could have wrapped that in no time. <laughs> no, no, it's Howard. I've been crying. Now, in fact, if you were in a show, would you let Howard come up on stage? And... Of course I would. I'll sit on him and ride him like a, you know, like a horse. Like, you see me? Are you think so? Yeah, man. I Thanks definitely lucky it though. No respect and thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, big up them girls, you know? I'm going to guess right now. That you do not have orgasms with men. Oh my god. And I'll tell you why I'm I say I'm here to talk about sex. I'm here to talk about you my better talk show. You better talk about it with someone. Obviously, you can't talk about it with your parents, so you better talk to me. Can I tell you something? Go ahead. You'd be the last person I'd ever tell this to. <laughs> Um, I don't actually know what's going on with it. I just know that they're not filming right now. 
Yeah. Oh, that's it. Oh, so then it's not going to be on next season. No, there, there's a season airing. I think it starts this month. So they've shot something, but not right now. Oh, they, because it, it's like they they do it for a while, then they stop for a while, and then they do it for a while. So. And uh, uh, Ozzy and Sharon are happy that they're not getting the cameras in there again, right? I think. I think, I think right now we're just taking a break, and and. It, it's nice because my dad feels like he can just take a break from everything that he's doing, and my mom, they spend every second together. How's his health? He's completely recovered from... He, it's amazing. Like, we thought that, like, till today he'd still be walking with a cane, or, um, they said maybe even be in a wheelchair, and he just was better in, like, three months. And your mom, no, no, oh, cancer gone. Cancer gone. Everyone Good. in my family is healthy, and it's great. Yeah, and what's going on? Man, you shocked me with that whole rehab thing. I didn't know you yeah, were Yeah, now you had a problem. <laughs> hey, who knew you had a problem? I thought you had it under control. Absolutely not. Come on. Wow. So you when did that? you discover uh, you were... Well, a I, drug addict. I think <laughs> no, it was an alcoholic or whatever. I, I, no, I, I was never into the drinking. It was strictly drugs. Um, what'd you like? I probably don't. I, I was very much into the painkillers. Really? Like, Vicodin. Vicodin. I've done Vicodin. And you I gotta never it. did Vicodin. You took it for a, a, a no, 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 no. I was. I can't say who I was with. I spent an afternoon with someone drinking wine and taking Vicodin. What, what, what's wrong with you? Are you three, 12? I took three Vicodin, and I drank a whole bottle of wine. And I don't, by the way, they say never mix drinking with pills. Well, I never, see, that's why I never drank, because I was afraid I was going to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> but I took these Vicodin, unless I have the wrong Vicodin, and I didn't feel a thing. Really? Honestly, I was like, well, what's all the big fuss about? I am about? shocked that you're saying that. I took Vicodin because I had a toothache, and I was slugging it back like there was no tomorrow, and drinking because the pain was so bad, and it never went away. And you never drink, and then you take Vicodin because you could have such a reaction that you would die. No, no I never, I never right. did that. No. So you took Vicodin, and that... And that I did not do a lot of drugs. It wasn't just that. So how many pills thing. a day would you take? I was taking like 50 pills a day. <laughs> I can hey, look at you. have a reaction with Maybe. three. Look at yeah. you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let us say that I never did that. <laughs> oh, yes, you did. Mr. Push. Limbaugh, you, how many pills did you take a day? Uh, tops 40. <laughs> <laughs> but it was... It was it was really dumb of me, and I got to a point where I couldn't stop because I'd get really sick when I tried to stop. And it was like the last thing I ever wanted to be like, well, Dad, you just nearly died, and Mom, you just nearly died, and Jack just went to rehab, and by the way, I'm a drug addict too, just to make things worse. So when would you take these pills? I mean, what was the routine? From the second I woke up. All right, let's walk through it. See, like the reality show... That would have been in there if I was doing it. The fact that you could conceal that on the reality show no one knew i was like I, you were the goody two-shoes i wasn't goody two-shoes no. well i mean with the sex you were you, yeah i mean i was shocked like how you speak to your parents i mean it's gotten really bad it was the drugs talking not me is, is that true i'm a changed person well there Are were you? a couple of times on the show where i saw you falling around and i questioned you no i i don't know what i i literally like i'd Full of every day. I still fall of every day, but it wasn't because like now it's because I'm just stupid. It's not because I'm on drugs. So when did you start taking the? Because you were kind of anti. I started when I was. Oh, I just pretended to be anti drugs because I hit the fact that I was doing it. Right. I, I started when I was 13. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know. Did your brother know the whole time you were getting high, and he just didn't say anything? Um. N no, but towards the end he did because it was clearly obvious. Right. Because I'd pass out when people were talking to me. <laughs> were they just boring? <laughs> well, besides that, I, I really would just pass out. Like I, it, it changed my life, and and I'm glad that I went through that because now I get to appreciate everything more. Do you think you were acting up sexually too? Like some of the guys you were choosing were kind of scary to me. No, I just think I have a really odd taste in men. Are you still choosing the same kind of guys? I still I think know. I still think you're trying to not trying consciously, but I think you're trying to find someone more outrageous than even like your dad. No, I just like you had to be heavily tattooed guys. Even that one guy was like tattoos on his head and stuff. He's like the nicest guy, and we're still like best friends. Like he's I don't like I don't I don't go for looks at all. I go for personality. And maybe you're judging a book by its cover just because the guy's head is tattooed. Does that mean he's a bad guy? No, I'm saying that it's kind of interesting that she's looking for a guy who's kind of like her dad. 
the rock star. There's nothing wrong with that. But then again, who who else do I meet? Yeah. He's like the only people I'm ever surrounded with. Well, you meet Fred. I don't see you jumping on top of him. And he's the hottest guy. Well, he's guy a little too hot. He's a real guy. You want hot? I got hot for you. <laughs> you want a real wild guy? Uh, yes. Kelly Osborne is laughing at me for being on. Fred, no, the the spawn of Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah, think of just, just check it. You know he's scary. <laughs> so wait a minute. We were going through the day. How these pills would go. How you'd uh, take. I them. just, I couldn't seriously wake up. I get really, really ill if I tried to wake up and like not take pills for a day. How do you get all this Vicodin? Like, where do you score? Can I tell you something? It's all the rich kids in Beverly Hills that have the drugs. They do. And you can go to their house and just buy a bunch? Mm-hmm. Where are they, there's got to be an original source. Where is it coming from? I actually, these are for Rush Limbaugh. Limbaugh. For Rush Limbaugh. I have, no, I have no idea. It's a parking lot at Denny's. <laughs> it's like, I didn't care as long as I had them. Is everybody hitting up their maid who has a how much? Hug? How much does it cost for Vicodin now? Well, it was like three dollars a pill or something. Wow! So if you are taking fifty a day, that's five thousand dollars a, uh, a day. Yeah, by yes. my calculation. That's right. <laughs> three times one fifty. Three times fifty is five thousand dollars. <laughs> right? I don't think so. No. Oh. That's not my strong smoke. It's about fifteen hundred dollars so, a day, right? No, it's one hundred fifty dollars a day. <laughs> what? That's right. Fifty pills times three dollars is one hundred fifty dollars. Is that all? I could do it. <laughs> you could afford that. It's a lot of money. <laughs> so, did they send you to rehab, or are you put yourself in rehab? You asked for rehab. Well, it was it was a bit of a bit of both. It was like I was really crying out the help because I wanted to stop doing it. I just didn't know how, and I didn't want to put that pressure on my family. And I just felt like such a failure. And I was like, I'm either gonna die or someone's gonna save me. And do you think it was a reality show that pushed you? Absolutely not, because I was doing drugs before that. Yeah, she's at 13. Do you think the fame from the reality show sort of escalated it? You got to all those clubs, no, people like, accept you. It's one of those things where I took everything I had for granted, and I didn't realize how lucky I was and how great everything that I was doing was and the opportunities that I had. And it was just like, well, whatever, I can do it, so what? Like, so do you think you? it fueled some of the fights you were having with, you know, like Christina Aguilera and this one and that one? No, I... She really hates that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that's drugs. genuine. Yeah, no, you yeah. can't blame drugs for that. No, I don't think so. Were, were you the most famous person in your rehab when you went? I think so. And uh, how long did I'm you go? Did you do a 30-day? I was there for a good little over a month. Yeah. Is it fun? Um, no. And going to rehab maybe never went through drugs again. Did you have to, like, clean toilets and, and uh, do chores? No, it was chores, but not cleaning toilets or anything like that. What kind of chores you got to do it? Like, you have to, like, mop the floors and sweep and do all the dishes. and. That was probably good for you, though, because you haven't done that stuff in a long time. You got maids and stuff. That's true. You know, it humbles you a little bit, right? Definitely. Yeah. So, so, what was the gross part? Doing the physical labor or having to sit there and talk in those groups? The groups thing killed me because I don't care what anyone else did. And it, it, <laughs> it, 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 having to wait and listen to them was just like and a nightmare. Listen to me. Not even that. Like, I didn't even really like telling my story because it's like, it, it's just like not, not what... I, I don't really care if anyone knows my story. I don't really want to tell it to that many people. And it's like, I'm open. If you want to know, I'll tell you. But it's not. I don't want to sit there and be like, my life was so hard. And just, right. so I, was just, I was just a brat that got addicted to drugs. So it was just torture sitting there. Uh, is there any sex in rehab? No. Anybody you want to hook up there? Absolutely not. No. no. You don't see any of the other patients having sex? No. And you got quite sexual all of a sudden. You were the, you were like the little girl. Now all of a sudden you with these men. What's going on there? I'm 20 years old. I know, but I don't like it. I don't like what you're up to with these guys. <laughs> They're doing what you. Do you. Oh my God! You know we don't we don't go there. Guys are doing you now. We don't go I gotta there. get used to the new sexual you. We don't I knew go there. I used to see you as a little girl around the pool at the the, the, the Marriott Marquis with your white pinafore. white pinafore. How are you doing, guys? Do you think me. your daughters are not? Of course not. You're in denial, man. I know they are. I know they are. I know what they're up to. Trust me. He'd rather talk about it with you. Yeah, let's just, you know what? Let's just talk about you. Don't ever bring up my daughters. We all know that you wanted to get really much more sex. You need to get out of the house. That doesn't mean I should bring them home if I want to. <laughs> How do you like 
sex. When did you start from No, I, let me tell you No, something. no, no. Look at me. I do not discuss my sexual life at all. All right, answer yes, my best one. Not even my best friend. That's friends. not true. Just I one swear question. on my mother's life that I don't even talk about it with my best friend. I know you Just do. one question. Do you enjoy it? I am not going there, Rob. What's your favorite thing? Okay. I am not going Dancing, there with this. Petting, <laughs> third base, or the home run. What the hell are the bases anyway? <laughs> First base kissing, second base feeling you up. At first of all, I don't like when people touch me. Third base feeling like So they're like, I guess you without touching Well, I, I, I'm sorry, but oh, that's like, horrible. I have to really date someone for a little bit before, like, I even kiss them. I'm so not, not no friends way. with benefits or but anything you don't, like that? you don't, you're telling me your boyfriend. Which you touch one? Him. Which one are you with now? I don't have enough. one right now. So what do you do, just random guys? No! You're out with Bijou Phillips and all of them? No. Is she your friend? I know her, yes. Who are your friends? See, I don't... I, I, I know those girls, but... And I'm friendly with them, but they're not people who I call and hang out with. Do you hang out with Paris Hilton? I've hung out with her before, but that whole What's crowd, wrong with her? I don't know what's wrong with her. You, you know. Her. Come on. What's wrong with her? You know you have opinions on people. Why is she filming herself all the time? Why is she constantly filming herself? Can I tell you something? <laughs> if people film themselves having sex, it's because they love themselves and they want to look at it. Does she love herself too much? Who doesn't? You do you film yourself having sex? Absolutely not. We're not talking Have about Have you me. ever filmed yourself? Absolutely not. You think I'm stupid? I'm asking you a question. You, you so do you think Paris Hilton is stupid? I think that's a really stupid thing to do, to you be do? honest with you, yeah. Yes. And, it, and it's and it's very graphic these Have you seen the films? You've seen them, haven't you? I, I haven't seen the whole thing. I only saw like a thirty second clip of the first one. Do you watch porn? Absolutely not. Why? Because I think it's disgusting. <laughs> I, I, it's bothersome. I, I just cannot watch it. I don't. I'm gonna guess right now that you do not have orgasms with men. Oh my god! I don't tell you why I'm I not even that. here to talk about sex. I'm here to talk about you my talk about, show. You better talk about it with someone. Obviously, you can't talk about it with your parents. So you better talk to me. Can I tell you something? Go ahead. You'd be the last person I'd ever tell this to. No, why is why? that? I'm an expert on that. And, and we've known you for so long. I'm trying I, to help you. That's not. Let me tell you. You don't like to be touched. <laughs> Sexually. Oh my god, I never said that. I just don't like people like I don't know touching me. Well, I agree. But once you're intimate with a man, he should be able to press a certain button and get you going. And I think what you're telling me, I think you're telling me and you're reaching out for help, so I'm reading those signals. <laughs> we all know that you wanted to get really much more sexual because you moved out of the house. That doesn't mean I'd bring him home if I wanted to. <laughs> Have you had sex in your parents' house? I don't talk about this stuff, and I'm not going to. I believe you have. Of course she has. <laughs> she didn't move out yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Who remembers anything on 50 Vicodin anyway? She right. probably moved out because she wanted to make more noise. Were you on Vicodin the first time you made love to a man? I'm not. Seriously, you can keep That's it on me, and I'm not talking about sex with you at all. I'm going to have to tie you up and torture you if you don't answer my question. You're going right into that tickle chair. <laughs> You'll be punished. <laughs> All right, let's take some phone calls for you. Now, there's a new TV show that you're a part of. Yeah. And you don't want your parents watching this because you have sex on the show. I don't have sex on the show. It's but a very sexual things. show. And it's, it's, and, and people can't get past it. It's really not that sexual. It just says things that people are afraid to say about sex. When is the show on? It's on tomorrow night at 9 o'clock on ABC. I will watch it. It looks like a good show. I, I'm interested. It's called Life As We Know It. It's and you'll be right up your alley. Yeah. yeah, I love teen shows. You do? And I love it. Any movies the with teenagers. The coming of age shows, he just, he loves them. He laps them right up. <laughs> I love it. I love when the kids get in trouble. I love when the kids have love problems. He loves I the, love... the, the, the My falling character in love, falling like, like, out of love. It's like the good ones. I've I read about your character. Sweet relationship. So they call you like the chubby kid? Yeah, I'm actually the fat girl on the show. You're the fat girl on the show. Yeah, and... and like, a lot of people are like, why would she ever put herself through this? And I, to be honest with you, I did this to, like, actually help people to make them understand that then they don't have to look a certain way to be considered beautiful in today's society. One of the things I admire about you is that you are not uptight about your figure. You dress, you dress wildly. She's you, unapologetic. You're unapologetic. You don't, you don't try to sit and starve yourself. I, uh, I, I like your attitude about your body. Thank you. Are you embarrassed when you take your clothes off in front of a man? We didn't, we're not going there. Was it weird for you the first time you took your clothes off in front of a guy? How old oh. were you? I we're not going there. You can ask me what you want. What about anal? Anything. <laughs> anal, I think.
pictures on the The butt is back. an XFL only. I am sorry, but that's disgusting. So that does not go on for you. <laughs> Absolutely. I know your mother's a fan of it, so I'm surprised oh, you're not. Oh, I, should that. That. I should never reveal that. I should never reveal that. I should never reveal that. I'm name. sorry, I forgot. Uh, dear. I, I apologize for that. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. Son of a. The fact that I know that about your mom is something I should have kept private. You keep that to yourself. <laughs> something your mom and I got into. I'm just kidding. I never even know if your mom's a damn. Really? I'd like to commit suicide right now. You see me? You enjoy giving oral food. Well, that's a very inappropriate question. I can't believe he asked that question. What about it? Now, Kelly's new show, Life As We Know It, uh, got great review in the paper yes. today. I saw a three-star review for it, which was... Uh, a lot of hype. Yeah, but did you hear what she also said, too? She's like, how could her parents let her get, like, ver like bashed like that? Like, she, she I thought it was weird. She didn't, see, she didn't see the point in it. She doesn't see, like, well, I'm okay with how I look, and I feel like I could help people, so that's why I took the role on it. My parents had nothing to do with me doing the show at all. Right, right. I understand that. And I don't think people realize you're 20. And you make your own decisions. Do people think you look young? Do people think you're like 15? I look, I play a 15 year old on the show. I believe it. Chef to drunk, you're on the air, make a nice question. Hello, Kelly. Uh, <laughs> all right, well. How are you doing, baby? Good, how are you? Don't get sexual with her, she's like a kid. Kelly? What do you want, Jeff? Kelly? Do you enjoy giving oral? That's a very inappropriate question. I can't believe he asked that question. What about it? <laughs> Answer the question. What do you say, baby? No. The night that you call me baby kind of makes me want to throw up in my mouth, so I don't want to talk to him anymore. Hey, Bob, you're on the air. Oh, you gotta get this pompous, arrogant little puke off the air. Jeez. I'm sorry, I'll leave. <laughs> Listen, she's not good looking, she's not sexy, she's not intelligent. She has nothing to put on her resume except she's Ozzy's daughter. Exactly, and by the way, so cares. why can't I live my life? Who gives a crap? Well, well, I I got a rock star, I'm Mr. Rockstar's daughter, but I'm having fun. What's wrong with that? What well, is she doing that's wrong, though? get up in the morning and look in the mirror. Do you see oh. the same thing that the rest of us see? Come on, she's such a cute she's girl. So Stop it. Now you're, being, now, you're being, now you're being outrageous. Now you're just trying to upset somebody. He's just stupid. I don't like it. Do you know when times people say that to me? He could come up with a little something more original. You're enjoying your life. You're trying to make a life. And of she's your own. making a, you know, she's taking advantage of the opportunity. Yeah, what does he do? He goes to a miserable nine to five job every day. I can't help who I was born to. All right, one last call. Let's go to uh, Pete. Are you there, Pete? Hey, what's going on? Hey, hey now, hey now. I just had a couple questions for Kelly. Yeah. We'll do it. Kelly, those pills that you were taking, those painkillers, did they have M's on them and peanuts in the middle? Oh, what is uh, that? Another one. No, but seriously, I, no, I'm friends with Kelly. We met up. I met up with her after a hamburger eating contest. Oh. People are outrageous today. It's ridiculous. But, but that's what you think I don't get that every day. Oh, really? It's like it's, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's really nothing new and it's nothing that. And exactly why knows. you took the role. Because yeah. people live through this. It is people deal with that every day and it's just absolutely ridiculous that people in today's society are still that ignorant. Yes, Joe. Hey, what's up, Alex? Hey, now. Yeah, listen, that guy's a little nuts. I think Kelly's kind of cute. So he's pretty hot, little girl. There you go. You're damn right. Here. <laughs> yeah, you know. And now she's uh, the new sexual Kelly. God knows what's yeah. going on in that bed. Well, listen, she's still there. I'm single, so, uh, you know, maybe we can hook up. Well, all right. Maybe we can set that up. Next time you come in, you'll go out with a couple of members of my oh, audience. Oh, boy. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I guess we'll never see you again. All right. Kelly Osborne on Life As We Know, it, premiering tomorrow night at 9 o'clock on ABC. I'm going to tune in. I'm, I'm going to support your show. Well, thank you. And if I watch it, that means all of America will watch it. <laughs> Kelly, thank you. Thank you for having me. Love seeing you here. Say hi to the whole family. I will do. All right. How'd it go with this house? It's all right. The usual. <laughs> I'm used to it now. You didn't answer any of those sex questions. No, I, it's my business. I don't talk about that with anyone. I said, oh, no, Baba Booey. I'm not going to do a Britney Spears thing at all. You have your time. I do. I do. I, I love coming on the show. It's very fun. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> Thank you. What do you got there? Guys? I just got a phone call from the people at i1.com and they've authorized me to offer you uh, $1,000 to get into a bikini. Um, $1,000. No. H money. No. 
Wow, a thousand. Actually, wait a second. That's a lie. That's all that. <laughs> they actually authorized me to offer you $2,000. Oh, yeah. No, I don't have any lotion. No. But I mean, $2,000. No, lotion. You don't need lotion. I'm looking at you. Lotion. I'll lotion you. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. 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 house 
six million dollar mansion. Oh, by the way, the guy with the curly hair that I hope Justin. he gets voted off. Justin, Justin, Justin. What a tool. And the guy thinks he's like the great. He's not even that great a singer, is he? Um, no, he'd sing really well, actually. I think everybody that's on the show can sing. That's not an issue at this point, because I saw people that couldn't sing. So, yeah, they can they can all sing. Do you like that? Which ones did you hate in the house? Um, none of them really. A couple of us didn't get along at first. Like we were all real bitchy. Who did you get along with? Um, me and Nikki kind of didn't get along in the beginning, but then. I hate her. You I'm know why I hate her? Now. She's really cool. She's, she's always favorite. talking about her kid, and it's like, you know what? That's not hot. Yeah, she's trying to milk the sympathy vote. Yeah, how old is she? Um, 23 or 24. I guess. And she's already got like a six-year-old? I don't know how old her kid. Crying out loud. Yeah, she loves that kid, though. Yeah, but that's not a real hot Yeah, image. that's why she's away living with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> well, I love my kid. I'm away. I'm in a house somewhere singing. I love your kid, too. Yeah, it's easy to love your kid. <laughs> When you're in a nice house like that. I love my kid, but I have to dance. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot that you haven't done any guys. Oh, imagine the first guy. Never been so hot. <laughs> oh, it's hot. Hot if I'm jumping on top of you. <laughs> now, and reading your bio, you haven't even had sex yet. You're real pure. Yeah, I'm very innocent. No kidding. No boyfriends, nothing? No, I never really had time. I was, like, really, really involved in school and um, kind of shy when it comes to boys. I'm sure a lot of dudes hit on you. You're a good-looking girl, right? Actually, to be honest with you, you know, I don't understand why, but, like, boys do not talk to me. Really? I guess because I'm really shy and I don't really look at guys or flirt or wink or talk. So maybe they think you're not into guys, you know, like, like oh, yeah, she won't give me the time of day. I, I would hope that's the reason why. Yeah. <laughs> I hope that's the reason why. In high, school, in high school, guys didn't come on to you? No, like a couple guys would, but the cute guys never did. Really? Yeah. I was well, a cheerleader, too. I'm a very like, cute... What's wrong with it? You're a cheerleader? <laughs> I'm a very cute guy, so let me see if I can analyze it. Hey, 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 let me ask about the guys who live in the house. Is there anything going on between... The guys? <laughs> no, 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 no. All those guys seem very gay to me. Yeah, it's it's kind of it's kind of awkward living in a house with guys and never look. I have three sisters, so it was weird living with guys. Who was your roommate in the house? Nikki. Oh, Nikki. So did you see her naked? No, no. They were changed for me. Actually, a lot, of, hot. a lot of the girls, um, a lot of the girls changed in front of each other, but I was always in the closet designing clothes, so. <laughs> you would not change in front of the other girls? Um, sometimes I would. I don't, we just didn't ever think about it. It's like a locker room. You know, we're all stuck in a house, so we don't care, and we all share bathrooms, so. I think Nikki should have walked around the room naked. I mean, like, you could have been naked. That would have been kind of hard. Hey, Howard, just to break her out of her shell, uh, can Benji take her in the bathroom? <laughs> No, I don't think that'd be a good experience. No, I mean, uh, uh, not the same thing. Not the same girl, not the same week. Oh, so you don't, you think about guys. Have you ever kissed a guy? Oh yeah, I've had, I've had, I've been on dates and stuff like that. Yeah. How, how far? far have been, you yeah, how far are you gone? Second base. About a, a kiss. Yeah. That's it. Are you only been kissed? Yeah. Boy, that body's going to waste. Oh. <laughs> no, I, I think it's don't kind of wait too long. Keeps me focused whether I like it or not, you know. Well, sorry, I didn't hear that. Keeps me focused. What keeps you focused? I, I notice when I date boys, like, I don't want to go to rehearsal. I don't want to go, I don't want to do anything. I just want to date. I want to talk to them and wait for the phone call. Boy, whoever raised you did a good job. <laughs> My daughters are listening to this. I that person that let raise your daughter. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's great. <laughs> you know what? I'll take her out for a sandwich. What? She got, she got famous friends. Who? Uh, Toby McGuire. Toby McGuire of Spider-Man? Oh, yeah, he's, he's a friend of mine. You dating you? No, no. He's a friend of yours. No, no, we're just friends. How do you get to be friends with Toby McGuire? Um, actually, I met him at a club, and um, we just before we American were Idol. Talking, we we're like sitting down next to each other, and I had no idea who he was. Just before American Idol? Yeah, way before, way before Spider Man too. Oh, so he was hitting on you? No, he wasn't actually. We we're just talking. He's never hit on me. He's did he? Did, did, did he ask for your number? No, no. So how did he get in touch with you? We exchanged numbers as friends, but he didn't ask me. <laughs> well, of course he did. You're naive. You're naive. You're 19. You're naive. No, it's amazing. It's cool because, like, I always thought, you know, something. He wants to get in your pants. No. Well, hold on. Let me explain the world to you. When a guy gets your number, he wants to get into your pants. He might. It, the trick is, if you're good at it, not to make it obvious. That's true. You know, he got you number. Did he call you? Um, every once in a while we talk, but he's so busy, I mean, so much fun. But do you think he's like a philanthropist that trolls around Hollywood looking for people like you to help? Or do you think he thinks you're hot? No, he's never helped me. I don't, I haven't asked for any help. Wait, but, but why do you think he's interested in your number? Just, we, we talk, we're friends, we get along. He's an intelligent person. That's you're on his, what I like to call, long plan. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like, long you know, term. you're a chick, you call, 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 he gets to L.A., you got nothing to do, sees you, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Chase your virginity. <laughs> I don't think so. No, no. But 
Trust me, I've been around. You know, another famous friend? Yeah. Do you know who uh, Jose Cansenco is? He played for the Oakland A's, famous uh, ball player, used to bang Madonna. Yeah. He's, he's probably... Really? Jose's... I didn't know that. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, good. Is she your friend? I didn't know that. No, she's, she's such a good okay. friend. That no, the, such a good friend that the night that she bombed out on the show, you called her to, you know, to help pick her up. Give her a... Jose Canseco called you? Yeah. Ryan, this is no, Jose. I, I called him. Like, Hello, Ryan. Ryan. You he said it was Jose. What was his advice? He just told me, he said he had watched the show and he hadn't seen any other episodes. And he just said um, that I needed to, you know, work on my stage performance and maybe, you know, try to come across a little, little classy or not so like... <sighs> He's a ball player? This guy in the Oakland A's. Yeah. How did you he must work on your He had an like from another perspective, you know? It was kind of weird. I was like, okay. I want to help you with your presence. <laughs> I saw you tonight, Ryan. I could barely stop from shedding a tear. So, you don't get, like, horny and stuff? I mean, you're 19 already, and you got the smoking hot body. I mean, you don't, like, do you have thoughts at night and get, get down with yourself? No, not early. I can... Really? No. You don't even touch yourself? No, I don't do that. I talk to so many girls, and they're like, yeah, I I just, I'm not into that that kind of stuff. You, but you've I never do, tried that? I do want to date and, like, of course, you know, be in a relationship. All my other friends are, so, like, I'm like, okay, but I don't have really any time. I think it's hot that you haven't done any guys. Oh, imagine the first guy. I've never been told it's hot. <laughs> oh, it's hot. That's funny. Hot if I'm jumping on top of you. <laughs> hey, what do you got there, guys? I just got a phone call from the people at i1.com, and they've authorized me to offer you uh, $1,000 to get into a bikini. Um, $1,000. No. Cash money. No. Wow, $1,000. Wait a That's second. That's a lie. Oh. It. <laughs> they actually authorized me to offer you $2,000. Oh, yeah. <laughs> i1.com offered you $2,000 oh, no, for Ryan no, to be in a bikini. No. Why do they care about what I was going to be doing? i1.com cares about you. We care. <laughs> They're a search engine. No, I don't have any lotion. No. But let me say, $2,000. <laughs> no lotion. You don't need lotion. lotion. I'm looking at you. Lotion. I'll lotion. You, you live in L.A., right? Yeah. You're going to go back to L.A., right? You're going to go to the beach. Yeah. Nobody's going to give you $2,000 to put on a bikini, yet you're going to wear it in front of a bunch of strangers. No, I don't want to. I'm How is it different? Wait a second. Jose Canseco's on the phone. <laughs> Ryan, take the $2,000 short. He doesn't talk like that. Keep your innocence. It's okay. Wait, let me conference in Toby. He's calling. Oh, God. <laughs> Toby, you're on with Jose. Hi, this is Toby McGuire, Spider-Man. Ryan, I think it'd be cool if you got into a bikini for $2,000. I want not that money. <laughs> And I mean that just as a friend. Gay people women are beautiful, but... Uh, Ever try sex with another girl? No. Ever kiss another girl? No. Ever touch another girl? Yes. Did you expect to win? No. No. No, when I made it to the top ten and I knew who the other contestants were, I didn't think I'd win. Who do you think's gonna win? I know who's gonna win. I'm not sure who's going to win. Yeah. I know exactly who's going to win. standing next to me for God's sake. I mean, come on. I have no idea anymore. I never expected it. Between you... those two girls, who do you you think uh, you know who can you can pick the winner between those two? I'll tell you who I think is going to win. I want to hear from Ryan. Who do you think? Deep down inside, you have a feeling of someone you were most jealous of. But when I say jealous, I mean like, oh, man, they've got it wrapped up. Who is that person? I honestly, I know this is going to sound so stupid, but I don't know. Only because there are things about each one of them. Tell the truth, there's someone in your mind, I don't believe you, there's someone in your mind that you think is going to win, but you won't say it, why? Well, the thing is, I think there's some people that I like better, and I'm so... Who do you like the best? Um, I was the closest to Tamara, probably. Which one is that? The, the black girl. The oh, really, the really good... Oh, you the one with the big afro on top of her head? She is... An amazing girl. She's either going to win... Or the, the not-so-good-looking chick with the gray voice, the white chick. Yeah, Kelly. Kelly's amazing voice. It's either Kelly or the Afro chick. But you're not telling me who won. You're telling me two people. The chick who deserves to win. I'll give you two answers. Oh. The chick who deserves to win, and this is it, this is as honest as it gets, <laughs> is the white, not-so-good-looking chick. That, and I'll tell you why. True. And I'll tell you why she deserves to win. The black chick, the blank, <laughs> is... Um, and you're wrong with your reason. <laughs> is too much of a Whitney Houston clone and is not as original the girl that white chick is so original when she sings that every song sounds new and fresh she has got she's an incredible thrilling. talent thrilling thrilling, thrilling. That's what she is. Is. she's and original the other girl thrilling. is almost thrilling right and let me tell you something the girl who will win will be the black chick with the afro no. afro afro black the You're afro the afro bleak yeah. will win the contest whereas the white is thrilling the yeah. black isn't that girl is too good to lose that's how good <laughs> kelly is the kelly white is 
had to lose. Now, if you took the white and mated her with the bling, yeah. you would have a good-looking chick with a thrilling sound. What you need is a thrilling white mated with an afro black to get a thrilling black. So anyway, the fact of the matter is, the winner will be, mark my words, the Blake. No. You know what? You never know. It could it could be like somebody that you never expect. I mean, uh, in, in the Myra UK, you can't tell. Still does not know who she is, and that's the only reason she's not as good as Kelly. How about this, though? What? Three grand bikini. Yeah. Uh, Three grand <laughs> iWan.com. Oh, I'll add a chance. Yours. Three grand. Yeah. I'll add a thousand dollars to get in a bikini. You're practically in a bikini already. <laughs> You're not that shot. I see what you were. Be thrilling. Alright. Ever been attracted to another girl? No. Ever tried I, think, I think women are beautiful, but no, no. Ever tried sex with another girl? No. Ever kiss another girl? No. Ever touch another girl? Yeah. Ever get excited when you see girls changing? No. <laughs> I have three sisters. No. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Sisters look like you, or you got an ugly sister? Um, my sisters do look like me. I was thinking it's a wild one. There's a good-looking sister, and there's like two ugly Well, there's ones. always one who looks better than the other. Yeah. yeah. I have um, one full sister and two halves, so the two halves kind of don't. It's like Patrick Swayze and his brother. Patrick Swayze is like a good-looking guy, and his brother's just a little bit off. He's almost Patrick Swayze, but not. Anthony, you're on the air. Let's get this tease off the show. Yeah. She's a tease? Ah, oh, this girl's so boring. Really? Thank you. Actually, actually, I, I heard a rumor that her and, and Paula Abdul use cucumbers on each other behind <laughs> That's hot. Any truth to that, or is this guy making that up? You're an idiot. She says you're an idiot. Yeah. You. Well, there you go. Well, are you kind of relieved since it was such hard work that, the, that you're done? To be honest with you, I am. Yeah. Really? I'm over. I have my platform for my career. I'm done, and I'm moving on up because I'm done. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> Very tired. Anyway, Ryan, a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Uh-huh. Man, the record business sucks. Now, when yeah, Simon fine. lowers the boom on you, does it? How is that? Um, it's not. It's not a bad. I mean, of course you're like anticipating, but when he tells you you suck, most of them you know. When he told me I was dreadful, I was like, uh, yeah, I was. <laughs> I messed up. I did bad. But well, you did. You do that. Yeah. yeah, I didn't think it was a strong performance. Right. I agree with what he said. Well, some of the songs, you know, not everyone can sing every kind of song. Right. Yeah, I picked a bad song. I had freaking fun, though. I don't even care. Right. I had a great time on stage. Where is it, Storman? Yeah, I was just wondering if she considered getting a nose job. She looked like Kevin Bacon. She, oh. she related it all. It's funny. Your nose looked a little funny to me on TV, but I'm looking at you now, and it looks nice. No, no, no. Don't get me wrong. I think it's really sexy, kind of. Especially you and your Yeah, all right. Hey, you got a good, you got a good nose. Because you learn nasty. Oh, yeah. Well, what do you think they learned it from me? <laughs> How old do you think I am? That's scary. I'm like, no idea. Like, 35? Yeah. I can see how Toby McGuire duped this chick. <laughs>
That's scary. I'm like, no idea. Like, 35? Yeah. How can I have a daughter older than you? <laughs> Robin's 50. Uh, I have a shirt your age. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's scary. Yeah. Well, I'm Robin's like 50. <laughs> and I work with this young guy. Isn't that great? Yeah. I found this old bag and I gave her a job. <laughs> I'm okay. actually 48. <laughs> My dad hoped to have daughters, though. That's right. He would have a 19 year old. If you do have a daughter. <laughs> How many? Does he have more than one? No. I have one daughter. You have nine. three daughters? I have one daughter nine years old. You're such a liar. Please. Yes, All of his daughters are older than you. No, Robert, be quiet. We can see how, I can see how Toby McGuire duped this chick. Well, I hope you make it. I hope your dreams come true. Uh, American Idol, Tuesday nights at 9 o'clock and Wednesday nights at 9.30 on Fox. I wasn't. It was exciting. He's a lot nicer than I thought. I like how he's very sweet guy. What did you initially think about um, I don't know. I told you. I thought he was a bit perverse. Like, I thought he was going to eat me alive. He was. He was really nice. Now, how come you wouldn't get in a bikini? Because I'm shy, you know? I shaved my legs in two days, you know? So, I could have been, been shy. I kept shy. Okay, so but you definitely come back and visit us? Oh, of course. Yeah, I really enjoyed the experience. It was exciting. Can you come back and sing for us? Yes, definitely. All right. Thanks for coming. Thank you. <laughs>